the venue for the uh, all important uh, much delayed uh, much anticipated uh, 87th uh, battle of the saints between st joseph's and uh, st peter's um, the um, conditions look perfect uh, for the start of play and uh, although the um, players on national duty for sri lanka under 19 will not be um, part and parcel of the action the um, two schools have uh, taken great uh, effort Uh, the match organizers to uh, bring this match to life as we say a very good morning to uh, shami gan very good morning arita and very good morning to all our viewers around the globe joining us uh, live from the actions of uh, the 87th battle of the saints and uh, as you just mentioned harita it's even though it's going to be a slightly depleted st joseph's of side i still think it's going to be we are we are really in for a good fight here at ssc and this is the tally uh, st joseph's in favor with uh, 12 and uh, 10 wins for st peter's college out of uh, the 86 games played um the uh, match uh, will be played as you know on uh, 60 overs maximum basis for the uh, first innings uh, one of the reasons is to uh, make it uh, a little bit more exciting over the two days um, and they have produced on the first day some good cricket uh, in the recent past uh, since the rule came into play exactly and they dope to increase that uh, number of results tally for whom are you supporting <laughs> i'm not supporting i'm just saying it's it's either side no, they're just trying to get get a result of the game and and that is really really commendable in the parts of uh, st joseph's and st peter's college both together oh, the only other big match that was planned and played was the royal thomian but that match was uh, badly affected by rain and uh, actually produced almost nothing as far as the match is concerned so it is a great opportunity for the players who have got an opportunity to play in this representing their respective schools i know they come out of all sorts of uh, restrictions but uh, the fact that you get a chance to represent and uh, play this uh, big match and be part and parcel of the history which is now into its 87th year is uh, something big so the uh, respective coaches uh, the teachers in charge uh, the respective schools authorities uh, the well wishes and the match organizers in particular uh, should be um, very proud of the situation that uh, the weather uh, looks good i hope uh, it stays that way well you are right and the spot on there harita that's that's exactly what everyone must be uh, praising the two schools for putting up uh, putting together a big match in this uh, amidst this pandemic where mo- most of the schools and the school boys lost it and this is what happened uh, last year the 86 battle of the saints it was a drawn game and uh, st peter's college barred first scoring 259 and joseph replied with 224 and of course again it was uh, st peter's college scoring a huge 288 for 8 and i remember rishik davatege and of course the davatege brothers both of them are uh, putting up 50 scores to totally save st jo- st peter's from uh, having a heavy hammering yeah but uh, just look at those scores um, when you say that uh, the josephians managed only 224 against uh, 250 plus scores uh, by the peter rights uh, you you mentioned the fact that uh, there was uh, a lot of uh, uh, authority yes dunit vellalage went on to captain uh, sri lanka under 19 unfortunately he is one of uh, three players who are not part and parcel for the maradana school uh, the same can be said of um, vanu jasahan um, easily the most uh, effective um, left arm bowler that uh, we saw over the uh, five match series and he has played a stellar role for sri lanka under 19 he's looking good his uh, fielding is fantastic at various areas he has taken some good catches so st peter's will feel the uh, difference although they have uh, Uh, two other um, uh, youth internationals playing for them uh, in the form of an opening bowler and an opening batsman well this is how uh, the season went for st joseph's college unfortunately only three traditional games can you believe it are it just three traditional games that is good enough there are schools that never played the match <laughs> very true there anyways uh, there was just the uh, one first thing uh, one win for st joseph's college the, the other two games it was a first things loss and a draw so uh, but three good schools wesley college royal college and st thomas's college yeah the 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 good thing about this whole exercise is that uh, the players would come out and play now without those top names that we mentioned there is always uh, an opportunity for the others to perform and this is how uh, st peters they were quite lucky they had uh, seven games uh, in the bag this year 
and uh, St Sebastian Trinity Royal Anna the Thursday and against St Thomas's and uh, they won 6 out of the 7 as yeah, in first I, innings yeah i mean th- that is the big thing about it uh, see th- when you get that sort of opportunity and uh, you get under these circumstances i mean you you have been in uh, total lockdowns uh, megan so you you understand it uh, there are uh, major concerns uh, i'm sure the um, health uh, concerns are slowly fading away if you are properly um, vaccinated and inoculated but uh, these are young school boys they are just trying to start uh, learning uh, life lessons so when you come for a big match of this nature there's there's so much pressure mentally you may not probably um, expect it but uh, there is a mental pressure to come out here and perform totally agreed with you uh, harita pereira and speaking of uh, the two teams here you know uh, many would have tipped uh, for st joseph's college but now they have uh, lost as in uh, they are not playing the three sri lankan uh, players and uh, being depleted in that manner even if the three played uh, are i still think st peters are a good outfit i mean uh, the the fact uh, you can't take the experience out of those three players uh, especially two of them shivon daniel and uh, um, dunit vellalake they are match winners on their day but uh, yes um, in a big match of this nature always uh, the underdogs come out and uh, play well and that's why it's very important that uh, the 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 playing 11 take a maximum uh, credit out of this situation yes i i uh, totally agree and uh, with that let's go rush, go go for a short break and uh, at the end of the other uh, at the end of the break uh, we'll miss you with uh, live actions கிராமத்தில் உங்கள் நகரில் உங்கள் பிரதேசத்தில் உள்ள வீரர்கள் திறமையானவர்களா அவர்களின் திறமைகளை நீங்கள் அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டுமா தமிழ் பேசும் உங்களின் திறமைகளை உலகறிய செய்யும் உங்களுக்கான யூடியூப் சேனல் டபிள்யூ டபிள்யூ டட் யூடியூப் டாட் காம் ஸ்லாஷ் த பப்ரே தமிழ் ශ්‍රීලංකා ජාතික ක්‍රිකට් කණ්ඩායම සාබාගින සියලුම තරගාවලින් විශ්ලේෂණාත්මකව සාකච්ඡා කරමින් ක්‍රිකට් ක්‍රීඩාවේ ඇතුළාන්තයේ සිට අනාගතය වෙත කරන කතා බහ පිටිය කතා සෑම සතියකම thepapel.com වෙතින් ඔබ වෙතට ஒளிபரப்புறப்புறவேஷ்டவுன்ஸ்ட Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot 
off the turf. Here, the experts break it down, dig deep into the nitty gritty, be inspired by their greatness, relive all the scintillating action. உங்கள் கிராமத்தில் உங்கள் நகரில் உங்கள் பிரதேசத்தில் உள்ள வீரர்கள் திறமையானவர்களா அவர்களின் திறமைகளை நீங்கள் அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டுமா தமிழ் பேசும் உங்களின் திறமைகளை உலகறிய செய்யும் உங்களுக்கான யூடியூப் சேனல் டபிள்யூ டபிள்யூ டட் யூடியூப் டாட் காம் ஸ்லாஷ் த பப்ரே தமிழ் ஸ்ரீலங்கா ஜாதிக கிரிக்கெட் கண்டாயமா சாபாகினும் சீலும் தரங்காவளியும் விசேஷணாத்மகம் சாக்கா கரவி கிரிக்கெட் கிரீடாவே அத்துலாம் தேசித்த அனாகத்தை வித்து கர்ண கதாபா பிடிய கதா சாம் சாத்தீக்கம் த பப்ரி டாட் காம் வெத்தி ஒப்ப விட்டு பிரதேச <laughs> Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Here the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. உங்கள் கிராமத்தில் உங்கள் நகரில் உங்கள் பிரதேசத்தில் உள்ள வீரர்கள் திறமையானவர்களா அவர்களின் திறமைகளை நீங்கள் அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டுமா தமிழ் பேசும் உங்களின் திறமைகளை உலகறிய செய்யும் உங்களுக்கான யூடியூப் சேனல் டபிள்யூ டபிள்யூ டட் யூடியூப் டாட் காம் ஸ்லாஷ் த பப்ரே தமிழ் ஸ்ரீலங்கா ஜாதிக கிரிக்கெட் கண்டாயமா சாபாகினும் சீலும் தரங்காவளியும் விசேஷணாத்மகம் சாக்கா கரவி கிரிக்கெட் கிரீடாவே அத்துலாம் தேசித்த அனாகத்தை வித்து கர்ண கதாபா பிடிய கதா சாம் சாத்தீக்கம் த பப்ரி டாட் காம் வெத்தி ஒப்ப விட்டு
நேரடி ஒளிபரப்பு யாழ்ப்பாணத்தில் மாத்திர கொட்டவும் இல்ல கம்பிய Welcome back uh, to SSC and uh, it's almost all set uh, for the live action from uh, the 87th Battle of the Play- uh, Medal of the Saints and the teams are about to walk out as we uh, anxiously wait uh, till this uh, i- historical event uh, get underway. Yeah, it's a good opportunity. Um, we saw uh, Nalla Devarajan, the match referee. Um, together with uh, the standby umpire Rajita Masalage out uh, at the toss. Um, it was a good opportunity for everybody to get around. Uh, this uh, ground had seen action in the uh, five match series, one day uh, international series. This is what was happening in the m- morning. Well, this is the opening ceremony of uh, the 87th Battle of the Saints. We had uh, the two rectors and. Uh, yeah, the that was uh, rector, uh, Reverend. Uh, Ranjit uh, Anradi on behalf of uh, St. Joseph's. Who was the guest of honor? Well, the uh, school songs were sung and uh, well, the, well, the guest of honor was Manish David, uh, Vice President uh, Group Corporate uh, Dialogue Asiata. There is the coaching staff of St. Joseph's College, uh, Dylan Ramnaika, heads uh, St. Joseph's and uh, St. Peter's are being coached by uh, Mr. Roger Vijay Surya. Yeah, the outfield is good. I was talking about uh, the 5-1 uh, international between uh, Sri Lanka under-19 and uh, England under-19. Mm, it was um, high scoring at the start. In the middle, there was uh, a low-scoring game. But uh, by and large, uh, it stayed true to its uh, form at the SEC. Well, you were there. You were there at those games, uh, Harita. And uh, was this a used wicket that we are playing in? Um, I think this could, could have... I, I was not there at the first three. But definitely, the last two games were not played on this wicket, if I, if I remember right. Uh, but uh, at least uh, uh, one match may have been played uh, on this uh, track. Uh, let me tell you, it, uh, if it... Uh, sounds to be a used track. It was a good track because it was well laid out. There were good bowlers on both sides uh, and good batters who did manage to uh, get around. It was, uh, I mean, uh, the last game, uh, the uh, the last game, uh, the England captain took six wickets. Uh, before that, uh, there were good opportunities where the um, Sri Lankans also bowled very well, especially the spinners. Um, so the spinners will probably call the tune. One of the reasons why is that uh, the um, batting side uh, from both schools will not be uh, comfortable enough because they have not had many matches. And there has been a fairly big break uh, from the last game to this big match. So there is always uh, that big match anxiety. If you get over that aspect to be mentally strong, I think that is where you can actually score runs and make it happen. Well, that's what Harita Pereira thinks of the surface. And let's go across the uh, centre and uh, catch up with Rosco Tatl, who is there out there for a pitch report. I'm here at the all-important uh, pitch uh, for the Joe Pete encounter. Uh, we are at the SSC. The sun is shining today. However, there's been a bit of rain overnight, so there might be a bit of dampness uh, on the outfield. Uh, but let's take a, a closer look at the pitch. It looks pretty hard at the moment. 
but uh, you get the feeling that as the game progresses, this pitch might crumble a little bit and it might aid the spinners. Uh, so the captains winning the toss might have doubts because usually at the SSC, uh, the seamers get help uh, in the first hour. But I think uh, win the toss and batting first might be safe to get a good score on the board and then try to defend it. Well, that's what uh, I think Rosco Tuttle also thinks of. Uh, it seems like a good wicket to bat on. And uh, well, speaking of the outfield, it was it was a little damp uh, at, in the morning, but uh, it's dried up really well. And uh, SSC, as you mentioned, has been a good venue uh, for runs recently. And I wonder how often as the this game has been played without any spectators as such, uh, Harita. What do you mean? It has never been played without any spectators. Uh, that, that's what I was getting. I think this is an historical event, an historical game. In fact, uh, in the history of uh, the Battle of the Saints, where they've never played without spectators, and this will be the first time uh, it's being played uh, close doors. Yeah, I mean, uh, people like uh, Santosh uh, uh, Gunatilaka would have uh, done well with the spectators. We'll ask him how it is going to be without spectators. <laughs> sure, and uh, for that, before, every, before all of that, uh, there is a... Uh, Damit Veera Singer waiting for the toss uh, in the centre. Let's go across and see what happens. All set for the all-important toss of this 87th Joseph M. P. Tried Cricket Encounter. I have the two captains here with me, Sharon Fonseca of St. Joseph's College, Nipunaka Fonseca of St. Peter's College, the match referee Mr. Nalaya Devarajan and the standby umpire Ranjit Masalege. The P. Tried captain Nipunaka Fonseca will now give it a spin. Head hits. Hits the call. Heads is the call. It's a tail. St. Peter's College have won the toss. We'll um, talk to the Pete Wright captain. Uh, Nipunaka, what have they all decided? We'll have a ball first. What's the reason in bowling first on this surface? Uh, looks like a bit of moisture is down the wicket. So uh, a few early wickets wouldn't help us a lot. How good is it to be playing uh, the big match? Yeah, it's uh, you can't put it towards actually. It's a big thing. So not on the normal time, but still it's a big thing to uh, play the big match. How's the team composition? Uh, it's good. Uh, we have the uh, we have two fast bowlers and about four to five spinners. So even the batters are good. They are on form. So it's good. Thank you, Nimrika. Wish you all the very best. Thank you. Sharon, um, if you had won the toss, what would you have done? Uh, I chose to bowl, bowl first, but uh, unfortunately, we're going to bat first. Uh, what sort of a score do you want to put on this surface? Uh, I think uh, it's uh, two, 250 plus, uh, that's my score and uh, let's see. How good is it to be playing the big match? Yes, it, uh, it, it was a very good uh, experience and we have a young side, uh, they get a lot of experience from this uh, and uh, mainly our three players going to under-19 national team. That's uh, that's uh, a good, well, not a good sign for our team. Uh, but we have a good uh, young team. That's it. Thank you, Sharon. Wish you all the very best. Thank you. So the news from the centre is St. Peter's College have won the toss and they will bowl first. Well, that's the story from the centre. St. Peter's have won the toss and uh, elected to bowl first and. Quite understandably so, Harita. They have got the swingy fast bowler, Danal Hyman, and then they must be really looking to make use of him. Yeah, the uh, two umpires. Uh, the shorter one is uh, Pradeep Udavatta. Uh, he's with uh, Vidura Prasad. Uh, Rajita Masalage is the uh, standby umpire. Well, this is N. Joseph uh, for the 87th Battle of the Saints. Sharan Fonseca captaining the side. We could not call him a stand in captain, but what an opportunity for him. Yes, he threw a singer, he ran. Mitra Tenura, Hirun Kapur Bandara, Kenneth Lienage is making, he's a fresher, it's his, it's his debut game. And uh, Sahan Dabre, Shenuka De Silva, Deshan Seneviratna, Lai Ramara Sekra and Yenula Devtusa will be, uh, make it to the St. Joseph's eleven. Yeah, great opportunity for the wicketkeeper opening batsman. Uh, he's been a star performer for them over the years. And th it is, this is his, uh, he's the only man uh, to have played a big match in this team uh, prior to this game, uh, Harita Pereira. Really? Nana, exactly, yes. None other, none other than uh, uh, Sharan Fonseca has played a big match Ooh, in this eleven. That, that, that is, that is something big. That is something huge. 
In fact, I, I didn't realize that. And what an opportunity for Shiran Fonseca to be such a leader, uh, being the standard. I think there will be some pressure on him uh, to um, lead this uh, young side in that case. Because uh, on the other side, um, we've got uh, a side that is uh, full of experience. And um, their captain, Nipunaka Fonseca, is a fifth year player. Exactly. One of one of very few fifth year players in this uh, uh, Battle of the Saints history. Shenal Boteju will open the batting with Vishen Halal Bage, Lairo, uh, Lairo Devatage, Nimutu Gunavardana, Nipunaka Fonseca, Niman Umesh, Vinudali Enege, Shannon Rodrigo, Monil Silva, Danal, Hemananda, and Chamal Kadi Silva. I think there are a few others who have played big matches there. I, I know for one, Lahiru Davatage. I think Shannon uh, Rodrigo also played. Was it Shannon uh, Rodrigo? Yeah. No, that was the last year's captain, yeah. Shannon. This okay. is not him. So only only two uh, players from that side, is it? Yes, I think so too. Two colorsmen. Six, six, six players. Six players. Vinu the Lienege. Um, there was uh, Danal Hemananda, Shinal Boteju. Ah, so they played. Yes, of course. And uh, but Vishen Halal Bage is a, is a fresher and a very young cricketer. Just played a couple of games in the season, if I'm not wrong. And uh, he's got a good opportunity. So, so this for is him this too. is what. I was trying to talk about uh, the opportunities that uh, present these young players to come out here and uh, perform at the highest level with or without uh, spectators. You get an opportunity to do uh, what is uh, important and uh, your coverage will take it to the uh, rest of the country, the rest of the world. So it's important that uh, they take this maximum opportunity and um, create this uh, atmosphere for this uh, big match. Well, it seems like Danal Hemananda will uh, start procedures for St. Peter's College. Just as we mentioned, the left-arm seamer, Sri Lankan 19 cricketer. Yeah, he performed against um, Bangladesh under-19 at uh, Rangiri Damulu Stadium. Looked good. And, uh, whenever he bowled well, he looked good. He's a very useful low-order batsman too. But uh, it's his bowling. It's his first five overs that could be the uh, telling aspect for the... Um, Peter Wrights. Very gutsy cricketer, Harita, I should say. That 50 he got against uh, St. Joseph's uh, in the last uh, big match to save the game for them, you know. That's that's the character of that guy at the centre. Yeah, Riesi Tropa Singer, opening batsman for uh, St. Joseph's College. Just the three matches as we mentioned and yeah. uh, there was at nothing least he's much got, to He's got past about. 51, so that should give him uh, some... Uh, Confidence coming out to the middle. Well, uh, judging by these numbers, I think is uh, never the never the thing to go to as a, as an indicator of how good cricketers uh, these players are, because uh, it has been a very very unfortunate season, a couple of seasons uh, rather. See what happens here is this is a vast venue, and that's uh, that's him. Um, best of five for 58. Um, he is a much better bowler than the 23 wickets because of the six matches. He's been on national duty. He's done well. He's confident today. The body language shows uh, that uh, he is raring to go, Danal Hemananda. And this could be the uh, big opportunity for the uh, Pete Wrights to uh, stake a claim and uh, make focus. Uh, there's uh, three slips and a gully. That's uh, expected. Well, here we go. Ball number one of ADS 7th uh, Battle of the Saints. Right away. St starts off with a no ball. That mm. was uh, not uh, what uh, was expected of a senior cricketer. Very experienced. Well, still it's very early in the morning. No, no excuse for that. Senior player. Has to do well. Good delivery, good lift, bounce, movement. All in vain. I'm sure he's still a little rusty. But he can't, he can't really give that excuse, isn't it, uh, Harita? Well, see what I mean? You've got to get six balls in that corridor. And um, first five overs uh, is very, very important. See, on this venue, if you if you just uh, hang around alone uh, long enough, beautiful delivery. He had to play, played outside his body. Um, if you hang around, uh, there are plenty of singles. There are vast uh, empty spaces, especially on the on side. From fine leg uh, to mid on, there's nobody in between. Well, that swing there, it's literally spinning off the surface. Dana Lehmananda 
produces a beauty. Certainly, the good part is that uh, he's getting not only movement, he's getting lift too. Made the batsman play. Now he's setting up uh, this left hand very well. He's a battle of the southpaws uh, start on uh, proceedings. Well, Sharan Fonseca doing the right thing, speaking to the youngster. Is it focusing on strike and his keeper on the other end? But well, this time much, much better from Danal Hemananda there. Brilliant bowling. This is right in, right, right on money. Yeah, he's uh, he's making uh, the batsman really worried because uh, you got to play. It was pitched almost on middle stump, and then started moving away. Somebody would say that it was on off stump. Yes, okay, I'll take that middle and off, but still moving so far away. Oh, he, he, he's a beautiful first over. But I think the key in that delivery was the angle. It was angled straight in and so sharply towards the batsman, and it was not moving in there. And the edge, he finds the edge there, but it did not carry. Yeah, what was expected to have finally happened? Um, the ball uh, hitting the bat and um, finding the edge. Yeah, he was a um, bit uh, lucky on that uh, occasion. Yes, it uh, Rupa Singh, but he's happy to get to the other end. Take a look at this. Well, one thing for sure, Harita. Danal Hemananda is here for a feast with yeah, all the experience and with all the uh, knowledge that is gained from the under-19 camp. Yes, um, this would be a good opportunity. I mean, if you say that there are 10 freshers in that uh, Josephine lineup, this is the man to get the captain. Straight away. Again, teasing that outside edge, Danal Emananda, but he's safe, Sharan. Pretty confident start. Um, bat and bat close together. Onto the front foot. You could see that uh, the way Yesit Rupa Singh shaped up and the way Sharan Fonseca shaped up, just like that. Covered it, played close to his body, wide of gully. And most importantly, soft hands. That's what saved him. He's experienced enough and he bats long, plays his shots 360 degrees. This is the key for the Josephians. Well, I mentioned this in the preview, uh, Harita. This time onto the pads, worked on the leg stump. Must be looking for two. Yes, it's Rupa Singer wants it. And they'll get two. Well run. Well played. And of an eventful first over for. Uh, both uh, sides, um, not only about uh, getting this 87th Battle of the Saints going, but uh, for Hemananda to bowl uh, such a good over and uh, the Joseph Winovanas uh, to survive it. Well, one over done, five for none, St. Joseph's College. Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with the spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa, feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. Lions, our pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Two former Joseph and captains are doing very well in the Lanka Premier League. Uh, Angelo Matthews and uh, Tisara Pereira, while uh, yet another former Josephian Sri Lanka captain Demut Karunaratna has done very well against the West Indies in Test cricket. So uh, much to uh, talk about. Top score of 92 for the Josephian captain. Well, straight away starting with spin from the other end. That's understood. They are in with a plan for sure and they always do. Well, it's Tamil Kadi Silva. 
Right arm off spinner. Bowling with the new ball. One slip in, short leg. Straight away pressure on Shiran Fonseca. This is a good battle. Uh, on one hand, uh, they will probably help uh, the batsman to settle down uh, because uh, the movement is not that much. But you've got to be careful with uh, the short lift in delivery. There he is. Shamaka Deshiva, just two games and two wickets. You have to be careful against uh, this experienced uh, Sharan Fonseca. If you start uh, giving him. Uh, a slight reprieve, uh, he will uh, make use of it, like bowling on the pads on that occasion. Well, what a servant has he been for St. Joseph's College. He's brilliant over the years. He's been among the top scoring, at least uh, in the top three every year. Yes, and, and the good part is when, uh, when the tough gets going, uh, that's when uh, he's at his best. A big game player, Sharan Fonseca, that for sure. And Chamelka de Silva, what a very he is coming from. His brother, his brother was a match winner for St. Peter's College, Chamelka de Silva. He was a different type. He was uh, a slow medium uh, bowler who could uh, make uh, the ball talk uh, with his bat in hand. He was still very good. Well played, confidence struck there. That should earn him some confidence, uh, much needed confidence uh, for Yesi Trooper Singer. Two hours done, six for none. Silima to gun a seat, take him for the bus. I know Silima, Rhino Silima. Why Ram Rata? They were near Rhino. Kamati part, a gamut, a hecky, plain Silima. Rhino. Wahalet Rhino. Silima tat Rhino. Savi Shakti ing ready. I know. Pal Pavet for Ihalai. I know. Yedamat Adui. I know. Hema Atin Ihalai. I know. Adu Seva Sakatavari Janata Vishwasi at Nava Sang Yogakin. Rhino, roofing sa ceiling shape. I know. Rhino. Dana Lemananda continues. Well, wide, too wide, Dan. Another no ball. He's, he's struggling with his stride there, Harita. I don't know whether he's struggling, whether he's trying too hard to run in fast and then bowl. He has to be careful uh, because uh, if you just uh, loosen your grip on the batsman, he will profit. And these kind of uh, tiny things, uh, Harita, that's what remi re reminds everyone that, you know, with or without spectators, a big match is a big match. And again, good delivery there, but another no ball. Well done, Alem and that, sh that should mess with his head for sure. Yeah, now, he, now, now, this is when you start dropping because uh, he's now wondering, uh, what did I do? I mean, these are footfall no balls, so it's all up to you. And um, he's measuring his run up yet again. He would have probably done it uh, with the um, distance measured up. Nipunapaka uh, Fonseca wanted this bowler to give him early inroads. Well, this time much better, but I think it was a little touch too short. Too short and too wide too. See, the experience of uh, Fonseca, he just let it go through. He has not yet tried uh, a delivery that's uh, coming into the left-hander. Two left-handers, one left-armer. Good uh, southpaw battle at the start of this big match. He has not tried uh, a Yorker. That, but that didn't seem like an effort delivery either, the last one. It was just a relief delivery to get over with uh, the no ball thing. But this time much better. In line with the stumps, making the batsman play at it. See, when you got the new ball in, in the hand, 
you got to make maximum use of it keep the batsman uh, busy by bowling uh, not too full but uh, just short of good length on the outside corridor make him play because you have employed three slips and a gully and those uh, close in fielders must be in action well meanwhile harita i also think let's get to it after this delivery this is much better but very very good cricket from sharan fonseca he's made it look so easy but i'll tell you that was a brilliant brilliant stroke from uh, sharan fonseca there I, as I told you, if it is too full, it's not going to serve you. It has to be just short of good length. He tried a yorker, but uh, it turned out to be a full toss uh, or rather half volley. And it was very well played. That's the experience and the confidence of uh, Sharan Fonseca, not to mention the skill with which he played. Didn't try to overhit, timed it very well, placed it even better. Go fetch the ball. But that's the key. Did not try to hit it too hard. Didn't even try to hit it. He just wanted it in the gap. He knows uh, the timing. That timing will do the rest. Brilliant. Well, this time. Well, I think he was a little unfortunate. Then I'll him another. But that was a brilliant delivery. Yeah, you got to keep those uh, closing fielders busy. He travelled quickly. Very well bowled, very well bowled. He had to play one off stump, outside edge. Lucky Fonseca. Well, I think the difference in that delivery was the line. It was quite the same length. Just short of good length, yes. But took it straighter. Am I right, Arthur? Yeah. Well, this time going away. And having a look at the bounce and the carry to the wicket keeper, I think the wicket is, even though it looked really tough and hard, I think it's a little in the so so softer side. No, I think uh, the fact is he's uh, trying to uh, not bounce the ball hard, make the ball swing, so you you will just want to push it through rather than hit the deck hard. I would understand that's a good situation, but um, using that seam well, I think he's a very uh, knowledgeable bowler. He knows what he's trying to do. Very skilled, in fact. He can send the ball both ways and uh, swing it at his will. This time again, a little bit too short. That much uh, him and Nipunaka would have liked. Three overs done, 12 for none. Cricket can be a level to make a good read out. Sri Lanka Jati cricket Kandayama Sabaginum Silum Tarangawalin Vishleshana Pukava Saka Chakarami Cricket Kridave Atulam Tesita Anagate with the Kernagata Baha Pitiakata Sam Satikama the Papa dot com making Obavikata Well Tamil Kati Silva will continue First slip in and uh, silly mid off. Point covers extra cover mid off mid off. Squalic deep mid wicket. And then he goes leg stuff. So I think uh, he has to concentrate uh, on keeping that uh, delivery on off stump because he has a packed offside field. Again onto the pads. So this is uh, not what is expected. And against this uh, spinner, both batsmen will uh, want to settle in. They've um, got through the first two overs of Danal Hemananda. If they bat for another couple of overs, they'll feel comfortable. That's okay. That's where you should be bowling. He's inviting the batsman and uh, Sharan Fonseca obliging him. Silly mid off. You have to be brave to be there when the bowler is uh, dropping that short and uh, putting <laughs> the ball uh, uh, onto your pads. I was just going there. Silly mid off and he drops it short. <laughs> have you had your experiences there? Uh, I have been. <laughs> 
Forward uh, shot, leg seal him it off. That agony is visible. Luckily, I was a wicket keeper. Well, Sharan Fonseca, speaking of wicket keepers, opening the batting and a wicket keeper. That definitely is not an easy task. And captaining the side too. Isn't it a little yeah. too much on his plate? Tough gets going and the going gets tough. Well, four was done, 13 for none, St. Joseph's College. Our Lions, our pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with a spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa, feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. Our Lions, our pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. So as we come back, the fifth over in progress, and Alhemananda operating. St. Joseph's 13 for none after being uh, put into bat. And uh, welcome, uh, Polly. Good morning. Good morning, Michael. The 87th Battle of the Saints under progress at the SSA grounds. Good morning to all our viewers. Well, the only unfortunate thing that has happened up to now is that the Josephians are missing three of their regular players and the Peter Wrights two missing one of their frontline spin bowlers and all-rounder Shahan, Paniger Shahan. That one left alone. So this so Pete Wright uh, won the toss and put the Josephians into bat. And uh, St. Joseph's up to now 13 for no loss. We are in the fifth over. A lot depends on uh, the standing captain, Sharon Fonseca, who is on six. Yasit Rupasinga, another senior player. Michael, don't you think these two players have to play a long inning for the Josephians? Yeah, definitely looking at uh, the team composition. A lot will depend on these two. Played down for a single. The start gone gone about uh, things pretty well. Well, moving a bit in there. Then I'll getting it away from the left-handers. He's talking about those players who's on national duty. It's been great to have those players here playing in the under-19 team, Sri Lanka under-19 team. Dunit Vilalagi, the, the captain, the Josephine captain, captain the under-19 team against uh, Bangladesh under-19 and uh, England under-19 which won tour to Sri Lanka, did very well. Shimon Daniel performed well against uh, Bangladesh. Wadiji Shahan also did well against the England under-19 team. Well, they must be licking their fingers. Missing this opportunity, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. But uh, luckily, the, jo the three Josephians who are missing this big match, all three can play uh, another additional year. So, hopefully, they will get their chance again. Hopefully, Vilalage will be able to captain. I'm, uh, that, of course, it will depend on the authorities. Uh, they look at a different captain for the next season. Uh, so, it's uh, 14 for Nola, St. Joseph's. Put into bat. Nicely driven and well fielded there in the covers. A quiet start by the Josephians. Danal Heman and the two was in the squad for the Sri Lanka under 19 team. He'd been released to play this game. He did well against the Bangladesh team. A lot of uh, responsibility resting on him. The wicket might uh, give some assistance to him, but up to now he's been not living up to the expectations. 
That's nicely played on the leg again. Trying to get that ball to swing across the batsman. It ends up in two runs to the skipper. And after five, 16 for Nolas. உங்கள் கிராமத்தில் உங்கள் நகரில் உங்கள் பிரதேசத்தில் உள்ள வீரர்கள் திறமையானவர்களா அவளின் திறமைகளை நீங்கள் அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டுமா தமிழ் பேசும் உங்களின் திறமைகளை உலகறிய செய்யும் உங்களுக்கான யூடியூப் சேனல் www.youtube.com/thepaparetamil So five overs gone in this game St. Joseph's have done well up to now, 16 for no loss, playing a very young side. Lot depends on their acting skipper Sharon Fonseca. Interesting to see uh, Polly uh, Spinner opening the bowling from the other end. Well, with this being just 60 overs per innings, the first innings, right? That will give them a lot of uh, extra time if they continue with this uh, spin from one end. Yes, uh, just to remind the viewers, this game is played 60 overs per side in the first innings. Unless the team gets all out. So it's uh, Chamaka Nisal. Bowling from the far end. He's kept it quite tight. Uh, he's gone for two runs of his previous two overs. Trying on the leg. Yeshitrupa Singh working it down for a single. Yeshitrupa Singh, uh, Michael, although he has not played a Josephine and Pete Wright game, uh, he had played for St. Joseph for a couple of uh, years, I think. Yeah, I think uh, his debut was in 2018. I remember him opening the batting uh, in that final, the one day final against Trinity. Sharan Fonseca doing the right thing, just getting the singles, keeping the scoreboard moving. So he has a trooper singer to have some kind of experience behind him. Can support his captain, those, these two, two senior batsmen in the lineup, opening the innings. Open the there scores. was an appeal. In LPW, but I thought the pick was pitched. The stuck outside the stump. He hit missed the whole season. And we see that uh, again. Ball staying on the pitch. Coming back to Yashit to continue that discussion. Again, nice to driven there. He was injured. Uh, I think didn't play one whole season after that. Uh, and that's what happened to him. Couldn't find his form coming back in. Hopefully he can do good for St. Joseph's today. A lot will depend on these two. Sharan Fonseca, of course, a very senior player. That's the end of the over. It's 18 for no loss. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. A nice view of Colombo. And the drone camera. Encounter is played for Reverend Father Maurice Legog Trophy. Last year we had St. Peter's batting first, getting all out for 224. St. Joseph's replying with 259. And the second St. Peter's with 288 for 8 at close.
slightly shortish really moving away from the batsman no harm done Sharan seen it early Danal went quite fuller earlier in his overs but uh, Sharan put him away for a boundary and then since then pulled his length back Danal Hemananda is bowling his fourth over St. Peters might have wanted an early breakthrough through him. Nicely played and pushed into the covers for a single. That's good batting once again by the skipper, the Josephian skipper. Slowly moving on. Phase 22 deliveries for 10. Yeshit 19 deliveries for 6. Started off with a few no balls, seems to have rectified that. Don't want to be bowling extra deliveries in this heat, quite hot out there. Bowling to a field of a slipper gully, Danal Himananda, left arm to the left handed batsman. There is a short leg, one down the leg side. Pulled away nicely by Yasit Rupa Singha. Well, gone into the boundary, so four to him. He moves into double figures, he's on 10. And the score moves on to 23. Trying to vary it a bit, going short this time. And Yasit Rupa Singha equal to the task. Standing tall. Pulling it to the mid-wicket fence yeah, on the front foot ideally you'd like to see another slip in there or two so the ball is swinging away from the left-handers Tunnel has uh, I think lost his uh, rhythm that was a good delivery that came into the left-hander Yasit Rupa Singha was waiting to put it away. So he can move it both ways, uh, Paulinus. That is going to be interesting. All this time bowling it away from the left hand and sadly bringing one into Rupa Singer. away but shortish Rupasing has enough time to see it move away plays it into the covers no run pretty decent start by the Josephians Polinus definitely the two batsmen look very confident playing very good cricket up to now they've done well a lot of responsibility on their shoulders, especially Sharon Fonseca, the captain. Again, That's the end wide. of the seventh over. It's uh, 23 for no loss. Fonseca on 10 and Rupa Singha 2 also on 10. Our Lions, our pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with a spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all-new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa. Feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. So there you see the top five Josephian batsmen for the season. Sharon Fonseca getting 285 runs, an average of 95. Shimon Daniel is not available in this case. Same with Sajish Chayawodhana. Then you have Yasit Rupasinga there on the fourth, fourth position, with an average of 32.63. So those two are the batsmen who are in the middle. Sharon Ponsika and Yasit Rupasinga. So Josephians definitely must be expecting a lot from these two, Michael. 
Yeah, they will have to looking at that batting. Don't see any other batsman's name. They have 10 guys playing their first big match. That's nicely flighted. Taken on the full but couldn't put away. But no spectators allowed in this game but that uh, kind of you know nervousness might be not there among the batsmen they can play it as a normal inter-school match isn't it michael yeah definitely with, with no crowds the pressure is not on you but still it's your big match uh Holly. i mean it's your first big match there is nerves definitely playing the big match itself with a bit of nerves there Yes, Atrupa Singha playing his first game, even though he had been in the Josephine team for a couple of years. But Sharon Fonseca is a very seasoned campaigner. Must be a pretty confident batsman coming up with an average of 95. He had scored more than 1,000 runs in the previous season as well. So. A lot of experience on his shoulders. In time, Tamalka doing a pretty decent job here. Completing his fourth over. Eight gone. Joe's 23 for no loss. I know Silima, Rhino Silima. Why Ram Ratav? Devani Rhino. Kamati Pata, Kamata Haki. Plain Silima. Rhino. Wahalata Rhino. Silima Tat. I know. Shakti ing ready. I know. Al pavet ma ihalai. I know. Yedama adui. I know. Hema atin ma ihalai. I know. Adu seva sakatu vedi janata vishwasi nava sang yogi kin. Rhino roofing sa ceiling shi. Rhino. Rhino. So there is a bowling change. Danal Hemananda being taken off. We know the Lianagi has been brought in. I thought Danal Hemananda being the top, top strike bowler of the Pete Rights have was trying to overdo things a bit, uh, Michael Danal Hemananda. Might be we might see a change of ends for him, maybe trying to come from the other end as well. So we know the Lianagi, the Pete Wright vice captain. Third year player. With six matches played, 60 overs bowled, eight wickets taken. Economic rate is quite good 2.92, an average of 21.88. It's hard to judge with this season, just a few matches being played. That's put away nicely by Yesitrupa Singha towards fine leg. It's a single. But the Pete Wrights have played about six matches comparing to the Josephians who have played just three games uh, this season. Yeah, that's why I said it's very hard to go by those stats. So one left hander replacing another. I like to see two left hand uh, left arm bowlers opening the bowling from both ends. Dish left alone. That one moved a bit, pitched outside the horse stamp and going further away. No swing there. Just any bowling with three slips now. We knew the Lianagi got four wickets in the previous encounter. That's on the 86th uh, Battle of the Saints, which was played at the Colombo Oval last year. 
might be wanting to repeat that performance. Yeah, nicely pets. worked away by Sharon Fonseca. This time for another single. I think that's what they'll need to do. Just keep pushing it on. Wait for a loose ball. Punish it. Get that scoreboard moving. It's no hurry at all because they have 60 overs to bet. Down the leg side. That was well collected by the wicket keeper. Lairo Debatake. Very good take there. Four buys if not. Nairu Debatege too had a couple of games with the Sri Lanka under 19 against the Bangladesh under 19. So that is the end of that over. It's 25 for Nolas, Sharan Fonseca on 11, and Yasit Rupasinga 2 on 11. Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with the spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa, feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. They see the top uh, five P tried bowlers this season. Tanan Hemananda had 23 wickets, while Jasahan Kumara had 21 wickets, but he's not playing today. Jashuran Benjamin, 13. Vinodaliana gave the eight wickets, and Imam Umesh, seven wickets. So, uh, fairly good bowling lineup. They're missing one of Jasahan, definitely. But the boundary just two runs. There's a shortish delivery on the leg. The first loose delivery from Chamalka. Just well pitched up. Fonseca is in no hurry. Lot depends on him for the Josephians. He's on 13. That one turned a bit. Beat him all ends up outside the Ostamp. First one that we saw turning. It oh nearly took the edge, uh, Slip Michael. It's good bit of bowling by Chamalka de Silva. Straight to the fielder. Back to offside field. Skip. Catching. Sharon Fonseca. And extra covers. And Sharon Fonseca taking his time, watching the ball very carefully. There's 35 deliveries. So that's the end of the 10th over. St. Joseph's College 27 for no loss after being put into bat. In this Silly Mutter gonna see Tegum Kadabas. I know Silly Mutter. I know Silly Mutter. Why Ram Rata? Never knew. I know. Kamati Pata, Kamata Haki, plain Silly Mutter. I know. Wahalita, I know. Silly Mutter, I know. Savish of the ink ready. I know. Malpevetma Ihalai. I know. Yedama Adui. I know. Hema Atin Ihalai. I know. Adu Seva Sakatavani Janata Vishwasi Nava Sang Yogakin. Rhino Roofing Sa Sealing Shape. Rhino. Rhino. So it's winner the Leonagate to continue. 
And a no ball call. Maybe that's why you should focusing swing is better at it. I heard the no ball early. It seems to be contagious. From this end. Throwing is better at it. A wide delivery. So you see the extras, four no balls, ball already by the P-Tried bowlers. So another rank short delivery, couldn't put it away, but it's straight to the point fielder. First innings of this game have been restricted to 60 overs, unless the side gets all out. So the Josephians might be really wanting to bat the 60 overs, put up a good score and put the pressure on the P-Tribes. Remember Josephians playing with just one player only who has played in a Josephian P-Tribe encounter. At the moment, Rupa Singer just can't pierce that offside field. The two fielders, the point and extra cover pretty deep just hitting it too hard to them being able to rotate the strike that one edged uh, but didn't carry a good delivery from one of the Leon again we know the Leon again just falling short Take another look at it. Had to play at it. No, very well shot there. Don't think that could have been. Stops coming up just a bit. So the Josephians being put into bat in this 87 Battle of the Saints are 28 for no loss at the moment. That's it's too wide away. Maybe not to be called a wide. It's a bit surprising there. Could have been called a wide. Much better. Oh. Much better by the bowler, making the batsman play. Keeping Rufusing in check. His batting outside is Chris. Cut away nicely, that's going towards the boundary. A long chase for the Petra fielders, but they can't get into it. Four more to Rupa Singer, takes him on to 15, and the score moves on to 32 after 11 overs, with Sharon Fonseca on 13. Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with the spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all-new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa. Feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. Thirty-two for no loss for Saint Joseph's uh, after being asked to bat first. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better start, especially uh, after St. Peter's asking them to bat first. Uh, Sharan Fonseca and uh, Yesit Rupa Singer both uh, have got into double figures looking well set now as uh, I'm being joined by Santosh Gunatilaka. Good morning, Santosh. Good morning, Roscoe. 
Yes, indeed, a good start from the uh, Josephian uh, opening pair. Close call, very lucky for Sheran Fonseca. Plenty of turn and bounce going over the slip fielder's head. Nipunaka Fonseca, after winning the toss, would have wanted a better start from his bowlers, but uh, I think the two Josephian uh, opening batsmen have batted really well and they have already posted 33 runs on the board and they would just want to capitalize on this start. Big appeal once again, but uh, seems like a bit high and uh, sliding down leg set as well. Shamilka has been very economical, but uh, more importantly, uh, no wickets uh, on the wickets column. Yes, you haven't seen any turn this morning. A bit surprising with the moisture, um, but uh, he's done a pretty good, pretty good job. Uh, keeping uh, the run rate uh, uh, intact and uh, is like you said he has been really uh, economical interesting uh, shot selection from uh, yes it for singha but uh, showing good intent they've uh, batted well uh, in the first uh, session first half of the first session i must say and uh, now looking to uh, put their foot down. There you go. Cut away nicely uh, this time to the extra cover boundary. You see Trooper Singer moves on to 19. Commentator's curse. Just as he said he was bowling well, he drops it short and uh, you see Trooper Singer was equally good enough to pounce on that. Powerful cut shot there from Rupa Singer. He's uh, placed it between uh, mid off and extra cover. Twelve overs completed. It's thirty-seven for no loss. Sealy mudda gan seat tegam kadu basu. Rhino sealy ma, rhino sealy ma. Why Ram Rathav? Devani ma. Rhino. Kamati part, kamati hacky. Plain sealy ma. Rhino. Wahal te rhino. Sealy ma tat rhino. Sabi shakti ing ready. Rhino. Wahal pavet ma ihalai. Rhino. Yeda ma adui. Rhino. Hema atin ma ihalai. Rhino. Adu seva sakatu vedi janata vishwasya nava sanyogi kin. Rhino roofing sa ceiling sheet. Rhino. Rhino. Ready, Oli Barapu. Yar paana thele. Maathar kote villa gampiya sa thevila thi. Sitpadaas at Mora Tua. Ye gama Mahindra Rajpal. Sitri Dangal. Kila Kuma. Sukadaas Indo Stadium is uh, the Fox Hill Supercross. Trunaagal City Atugal Puravare. Babre dotko mapiya thevili ni door eliya Pradesh. Final showdown. Can this both stop? Parnaru Chathik Sankarne City. Lions, our pride, connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action.
உங்கள் கிராமத்தில் உங்கள் நகரில் உங்கள் பிரதேசத்தில் உள்ள வீ Thirty-seven for no loss. Uh, Twelve overs completed. Uh, the first uh, drinks break of the day just completed as well. A hot and humid morning, and uh, we know the Lee and Agee will continue for St Peter's. On the pads, uh, work down to fine leg by uh, Sharon Fonseca. This is uh, definitely a good start for St Joseph's uh, especially considering the fact that they are missing three of their very important batsmen Shevon Daniel Sadish Jawardhan and uh, the captain Dunit Vellalage as well so Shiran Fonseca the leader for this game uh, he's taken responsibility he's uh, got to an unbeaten 15 at the moment and uh, plenty of uh, responsibility on him today Yes, absolutely. Uh, he had uh, so much responsibility on him. He's the only player that has played a big match for the Josephians previously, and uh, uh, these two batsmen were asked to ride the storm with the new ball, and they've done it brilliantly. And now they are just—they uh, got their eye in, they're set, and now they're going for their shots. Really good start from them, and the coach would be really happy. good looking stroke from uh, rupa singha just a single though good effort in the field uh, as well uh, is like you mentioned uh, santosh uh, very interesting fact 10 freshers for a big match not very often uh, you hear of that sheran fonseca the only man uh, left uh, as someone who's played a big match before for st joseph's so it looked on paper st peter's had the upper hand uh, coming into the game as well i uh, wonder if they have capitalized it on as yet yes 10 freshers it's a great opportunity for them in the big stage here getting an opportunity to play a joe pit uh, big match they'll be eager to uh, get the opportunity and they'll be, they'll want to only perform well the sun has uh, gone in for a bit uh, slightly overcast at the moment looks like very helpful uh, fast bowling conditions that's very good uh, from sheran fonseca didn't middle that ball felt the mid on field was slightly uh, on his heels and uh, scamping through for a quick single sensible batting from the josephian skipper uh these two batsmen have been batting really positively this morning as you can see on the bottom of the screen uh, the first innings of this big match will be restricted to 60 overs it's uh, a few more overs uh, more than a usual one day game nice stroke once again from rupa singha moves on to 22 now batting with a good strike rate yes it through pasinga is clipping that one uh, off his pads and that's the 13th over st joseph's 42 for no loss silimada ganna seat ekam kadda basu i know silim rai no silim vai ram ratav devani ma rai no kemati paata kemata haki plain silim rai no wahalata rai no silimata rai no sabhi shakti eng vedi I know I'll pay with my ihalai I know yedama adui I know hema atin ihalai I know adu seva sakata wedi janata vishwase nav sanyogekin raino roofing sa ceiling shape I know raino So there's another bowling change Danal Hemananda coming from the opposite end. His ball is four overs and given away 19 runs. But uh, his figures don't speak how well he has bowled this morning. He beat the left-handers bats uh, quite often, and uh, the captain has given him the ball once again, but this time from the opposite end. 
Yes, uh, Hemananda did get the ball to move. Uh, he did uh, beat the bat a few times as well, but uh, I thought uh, he overstepped a few times and I thought his discipline was not up to the mark in that early on spell, but now the captain has given him another go from uh, the opposite end. Uh, and uh, as you pointed out, he's a very key member of the St. Peter's uh, unit. Coming off up to under-19 youth series against Bangladesh and England, so bringing a lot of experience into this camp. Just short of length and uh, very well played by uh, the Josephian skipper. As you can see, the two batsmen are looking for those quick singles. They're trying to rotate the strike. They've got a good start, 42 runs already on the board and uh, looking for those quick singles to put the, put the pressure on uh, the fielding unit. Yes, uh, very good intent shown by both batsmen, Rupa Singer and Fonseca. Lipanaga Fonseca opting to go with just the two slips and he's got a deepish cover. Attacking the stumps, Danal. Uh, at this moment, uh, the P tries to definitely need a, a breakthrough here. And uh, I think they should attack more, maybe. Or, or rather, just, uh, rather than just uh, going defensive. Because the batsmen haven't played uh, a big shot yet. They have just been rotating the strike. Maybe cut the singles and uh, put some pressure with the dot balls. Good looking stroke once again from Fonseca. He's been rotating the strike uh, pretty well. What do you think uh, of the decision of uh, winning the toss and electing to field first, Santosh? Yeah, well, uh, taking into consider the conditions here at the SSC, I think uh, it was a good decision bowling first, but I would have liked to see two fast bowlers uh, taking the new ball rather than seeing a fast bowler and a, and a spinner. Because uh, if you can utilize the conditions early in early morning, then you could, uh, and if you got a couple of early wickets, automatically the pressure would have uh, been on the batting side. But that was not the case today. Flirting out at off stump on that occasion was Rupa Singha. Lucky to get away with that one. Uh, yes, we were speaking off air as well uh, about the field set uh, when the off spinner ball is first over we saw a deep mid wicket and a deep square leg against uh, the left hander which is a strange decision yes uh, i wonder what the thinking process behind that was but uh, a couple of balls later the square leg was uh, brought up to the circle but even then i would have really loved the deep mid wicket also uh, in a short mid wicket position or maybe in an attacking position Hemananda, desperate for that uh, first breakthrough for St. Peter's. This ball uh, is trying to slant it back into the left-hander, but uh, doing a bit too much, going down the leg side. The attempted in-swing in York, I suppose. It's a strain down the leg side. Good shot, a good piece of feeling from the Pete Wright skipper, but uh, yes, it a single. Sorry, Sharan Fonseca gets a single, and that ends the 14th over. St. Joseph's 44 for no loss. Staying safe at home is what's truly important. That's why we're delivering all dialogue connections right to your doorstep. To purchase Dialogue TV, home broadband mobile connections, smartphones and devices. Visit www.dialog.lk to order online. No delivery charges. Conveniently and safely delivered island-wide within 48 hours. 
Dialogue, the future today. Double bowling change. Niman Umesh replacing Vidan Dalian again. Right arm Murphy. Six matches. He's taken seven wickets with the best of two for 21. This is a good stroke uh, this time from Rupa Singer. It should find the boundary. Yes, it does. Straight away intent against uh, the new bowler. A loosener to start from Niman Umesh. He just threw the tossed that ball right under the batsman's uh, eyes and uh, Yes he threw Pasinga played a beautiful shot bisecting that field all the way to the boundary. A loosener from uh, the off spinner. Two full start with uh, Once again, another quick single. Very good intent. Yes, it uh, gets a boundary off the first ball and then gets off strike. Yes, good batting, sensible batting from uh, Yesit Rupa Singer. That's uh, what they need to be doing rotating the strike and uh, pouncing on those loose balls. First signs of turn and bounce, maybe. Numesh uh, seems to be getting something out of this SSC surface. It's a really good comeback from Nima Numesh. Good stroke from Fonseca. He finds the gap as well. And he finds the boundary as well. Good start uh, for St. Joseph's in this over as well against uh, Nima Numesh. And uh, their 50 comes up as well. The dugout is very happy on their feet. Yes, indeed. Uh, an absolutely amazing shot there from uh, Shiran Fonseca. Once again, two full Niman Umesh and the batsman was equally good enough to dispatch that to the boundary. 50 comes up with that and the Josephian dugout is really happy and uh, would be would want these two batsmen to capitalize on this start and maybe bat till lunch. Niman Umesh, uh, whenever he's landed the ball on a good area, he's looked threatening. He's uh, over pitched a couple of times and been dispatched to the boundary. An expensive over to start with. Uh, 15 overs completed. It's 53 for no loss. I know Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima, Why Ram Rathav? Devan Yaga, Rhino Silima, who was completed in this um, 87th Battle of the Saints. A pretty good start from St. Joseph's College after being uh, sent in to bat. The two senior players, uh, Sharon Fonseca and uh, Yesi Trupasinga, have uh, played the first hour quite well. Now it's about building till lunch. Danal Hemanand will continue. A very good morning to you, Brijesh. Good morning, uh, thank you. It's going to be a 
interesting couple of days here in uh, SSC grounds not the usual uh, Joe Pete by this time on uh, another year people uh, would be uh, tuning in watching the game and uh, getting ready to come to uh, the Pisara Oval but this time around it's at SSC grounds no crowds allowed but um, massive opportunity for these youngsters especially for the players who are playing the last year yeah it's um, nice to uh, have played the game because with all these covid restrictions and stuff like that uh, both schools deciding on playing because some of the guys will be playing for the last year so it's very important that they leave college with uh, uh, at least a big match or two under their belt Side screen has been covered. Here's Danal Heyman on the slight lapse in uh, fielding there from Nimanu Mesh. St. Peter's College have been uh, pretty average so far. Of course, uh, without the three main players, St. Peter's College had the upper hand, at least on paper, before coming into this game. They have uh, five players who have played the big match before. For St. Joseph's College, it's just one player, the one who are uh, one who's uh, facing this delivery. Another no ball from Danal Hemananda. Damit from morning, uh, having a look at the game uh, before coming into the com box, uh, I thought uh, St. Peter's has uh, taken it a bit easy on uh, St. Joseph's, trying to wait for things to happen rather than uh, trying to make things happen. The Josephians have uh, put the ball into the gaps and taken the singles. The next one's driven to extra cover. A quick single, but no harm done. The direct hit didn't work, so safely through for a single. Yeah, what I thought was uh, St. Joseph's have played it well. Uh, obviously, didn't play any rash shots. Very disciplined with the bat, knocking the ball around, taking the singles, and uh, rotate the strike. And next thing you know is uh, both batsmen are settled pretty well and going well with Sharan on 22 and Yasit on 29. The previous ball, good cricket all around. Hemananda pitching it up. Fonseca driving it uh, elegantly. Good bit of fielding. St. Joseph's College, they played only three official traditional games. That was um, in uh, January and in February. But uh, the past couple of weeks they've played a couple of games with some under 23 teams some other schools as practice games and um, they've been in the grounds uh, Bridges they've been uh, in training both these teams they've been waiting for this uh, day the 87th Battle of the Saints That's a very good delivery from uh, Danal Hemananda. Damit, as you were saying, um, yeah, they were they played a few games leading up to the big match, but it's not like a regular season where they practice right throughout the year. Had a lot of uh, you know match practice, so to speak. Uh, a couple of games rushed due to COVID, uh, just to get the boys back in shape. Uh, I know they've been training, uh, you know, in a bubble and stuff like that, both schools, but uh, it's not like when you have about 10 of 12 games under your belt and then you come to play a big match. Straight to the field there, Sharon Fonseca will not be happy. He found the field there. Could have, um, 
easily uh, pulled it to the boundary ropes. See them with the fields on on the 30 yard circle so it's there's an easy single for both the set batsmen so just need to drop it into the gap and you can always uh, go through for a single and St. Peter's are just sitting back and make waiting for things to happen instead of trying to make things happen at least cut the singles down and put a bit of pressure on uh, St. Joseph's that's the end of the 16th over St. Joseph's College, 57 for no loss. Fun Blaster Gun Plus Plus Kerala. Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month. Activate today. The best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network, Dialogue. Here are the playing hours of uh, this uh, Battle of the Saints match started at 9.30. The first session will be uh, two and a half hours. The second session then uh, will be ending at 2.20 because of the 60 over rule. As soon as the 60 overs are completed, they'll take tea. That's how um, the playing hours will be. Imanu Mesh continuing. He gave away nine runs in his first over St. Peter's College playing with two off spinners two left arm seamers and two left arm spinners As much see, better much yeah. better from Nimanu Mesh Love it. like you see uh, the ball is turning obviously uh, the ball is going to always turn from now till the end of the second innings as you see the ball dips in and then holds its line good bowling by Niman that's what you get at uh, SSE grounds good bounds But straight driven back to the bowler, so no harm there. Should have tried pushing it into the gap, but uh, these two guys are batting really well for St. Joseph's. They're taking their time, setting the base up for the middle order to get a decent total. Neatly swept away from Sharon Fonseca, just a single. They've added uh, 59 runs so far, these two left-handers. If you're just joining in and uh, watching this 87th Battle of the Saints, St. Peter's College captain Nipunaka Fonseca won the toss and uh, elected to bowl first. He hit it straight to the short leg, the close infielder. 17 overs completed, 59 for no loss. Silima to gun a seat, take him for the bus. I know Silima, Rhino Silima. Why Ram Rata? There were Nima. I know Kamati part, a gamut, a hecky, plain Silima. Rhino. Wahalet, Rhino. Silima, that Rhino. Savishakti, ready. I know. Palpevet, I know. Yedama, how do you? I know. Hema Atin, Yelai. I know. How to say was a good very Janata Vishwasi, now a son yogi king. Rhino, roofing sa ceiling shape. Rhino. Rhino. Namit, what do you think about the um, decision to bat? Uh, I mean, to feel first by St. Peter's. Do you think that is a good decision or were they thinking about something else? I thought they didn't bowl well in that first tower. Didn't use um, that uh, moisture which was available early on. When we came uh, to the grounds, uh, they took some time to take off uh, the covers. So this pitch was under covers for more than 12 hours so they could have used the moisture much better than this but yes um, I think both the teams were looking to bowl first 
especially considering that it's a 9.30 start. Shamelka De Silva. I was quite surprised when uh, he shared the new ball with uh, Danal Heyman and the Samelka. Samelka, the brother of uh, Manelka Di Silva, who played for St. Peter's College a couple of uh, years ago. Tall, lanky left-hander he was, the all-rounder, the younger brother of Manelka. Oh, that was cheeky from Yesi Thrupa Singer. It's not where he intended it to go to, but nevertheless, uh, He'll take the runs, three of it. As you see, Damit, uh, the first slip intended it to go a bit wider, so he moved to his left. But uh, the batsman got a top edge and it went in between him and the keeper. So, how bad luck. A ball. That's the line he should be trying to bowl. Toss it up a bit, the ball is spinning. Samelka is uh, bowling a good line, but the length has to be adjusted a bit, and the pace as well. Next one swept down to square leg. And the batsmen are looking for two. They're going for the second, but uh, easily back home. So St. Joseph's have moved on to 63, sorry, 65. Sharon on 26 of 60 and Yasit on 34 of 51. They're going at a healthy run rate of 3.68 as you can see. So Damit coming back to the conversation which we, I asked you, uh, was it a good idea to uh, feel first um, after this ball? Played it. Uh, I thought yes. Like you say, the covers was on for a long time. The moisture was there, but why did St. Peter's decide to go with a spinner in the first second over uh, without giving the paces uh, um, a chance to try and see whether the ball will move and try and get an early wicket? Uh, that completes the 18th over. St. Joseph 65 for no loss. Silima dekan seat tegam kat debasu. Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima. Why Ram Rathab? Devani Ma. Rhino. Kamati part, kamati hacky. Plain Silima. Rhino. Wahalite Rhino. Silima tat Rhino. Sabi shakti ing ready. Rhino. Hal pavet ma ihalai. Rhino. Yedamal adui. Rhino. Hema atin ma ihalai. Rhino. Adu seva sakat wedi janata vishwasya nava sanyogi kin. Rhino roofing sa ceiling sheet. Rhino. Rhino. Man, Imesh, we continue from the media box end. Oh, that's a very good delivery. You see, Yashi Thrupa Singh was uh, already on the back foot there. If you're just wondering um, what happened to uh, the three senior players for St. Joseph's College. Loud appeal going down the leg side. Umpire Apradi Pudabata there. Easy decision for him. St. Joseph's College, three of their players, Captain Dunit Pellalage, Shevon Daniel, and Sadish Jayavardhana, as well as the St. Peter's College all rounder Walu Jasahan. Four of these players they are not playing this big match because of national duty. Is yes, that we play? Clearly going down the leg side. Plenty of work for the fielders in the deep. Those uh, four players, uh, Bridgesh, they've been selected to represent Sri Lanka in the upcoming Asia Cup and the Under-19 World Cup. They'll be leaving uh, the island on the 18th. Is that the first ticket? Oh! Ipunaka Fonseca. I think he got a hand to it. Just mm, the fingertips there. The tall guy, um, he had a slight chance, I think it was just over his head. As you see there, yeah, just over his head. Tried his level best to backtrack and get a hand to it. Risky shot, but got away with it. 
not shy of playing that reverse sweep. Yes, he threw Basinga. I think he's got more confidence uh, by, you know, sticking around there. And he's seeing the ball well. And probably uh, back himself with the shot. Next one driven, driven nicely into the gap. Uh, they will look for two, but no. They're happy with one. Sensible. Don't need any run outs. They're batting well. There's plenty of overs to go. That's the end of the 19th over. St. Joseph's 69 for no loss. Fun Blaster Gun Plus Plus Kerala. Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month. Activate today. The best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network, Dialogue. Our Lions, our pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. The lovely city of Sri Lanka, Independence Square. It's where we got our freedom from the British, 1948. A lot of greenery. It's just close to uh, SSC. Here's another bowling change for St. Peter's College. Fresher Shannon Rodrigo, left arm spinner. With the Vanuja Sahan uh, not being available, these two left arm spinners, Shannon and Monil, will have a lot of bowling to do in the next couple of days. That means if they go on this rate that they're going in 60 overs, they'll be close to 240. So they're doing a really good job, uh, not lost any wickets, so they'll be looking at about 275, which St. Joseph's will be really happy with, unless something dramatic happens in the middle. I don't think St. Peter's has got this under control, and like you said, they've lost, uh, I wouldn't say lost, they've, uh, they're missing three players on national duty, so this is the best opportunity for St. Peter's to try and win this uh, game but obviously things are not working their way as you see the next ball put into the gap easy two for the batsman they're taking whatever is there in offer which is good by the Josephine batsman running hard in between the wickets it's a good opening stand so far Damit yes sir what's uh, most important here is uh, Bridges that Sharon is not letting the new bowler settle in. He's, he's using his feet. He's not letting him settle down. Two left-handers. They like uh, when the ball is spinning in. Immediately, Nipunaka Fonseca pushes that uh, extra cover field to the fence. That's really good batting. He, he got the timing right there, Sharon Fonseca. Oh, good, good, <laughs> good bit of football skills from Danal Hemananda there. Saved a single. He's not in the 18 member squad for the World Cup. If the national coaches would have seen this, that they would have not been happy with that effort. Because uh, he's a fast bowler. Could have uh, got around quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh. See, that was really risky stuff by the fielder there, Danal Hemananda. Now he easily uh, twisted his ankle. Already five runs off uh, Shannon Rodrigo's uh, first over. Twenty overs completed. St. Joseph's College, seventy-four for no loss. Silly mutta gan seat tegum kadda basu. I know silly ma, I know silly ma. Why Ram Rathav? Devani ma. I know. Kemati paata, kemati hai ki. 
प्लेन सीलिम राइनो वहाँ लेटे राइनो सीलिम टाट राइनो सारी शक्ति एंग वैडी राइनो हल पैवेट में इहलाई राइनो ये दमा आडू राइनो है मा आतिम इहलाई राइनो आड सेवा सकते वैडी जनता विश्वास ये नव संयोगी किन राइनो रोफिंग सासीलिंग शी राइनो राइनो आवर लाइन्स आवर प्राइ Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Staying safe at home is what's truly important. That's why we're delivering all dialogue connections right to your doorstep. To purchase dialogue TV, home broadband, mobile connections, smartphones, and devices, visit www.dialogue.lk to order online. No delivery charges. Conveniently and safely delivered island-wide within 48 hours. Dialogue: The future today. Our alliance, our pride, connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Saint Joseph's College, uh, 74 for no loss. We've got on to a very good start. 20 overs gone. Sharan Fonseca on 33. Yasit Rupa Singh on 35. Well, I say good morning again to Michael Adams. Michael, St. Joseph has got on to a good, very good start, isn't it? Yeah, morning, Bolly. Morning, everyone. Yes, definitely losing the toss. Been asked to bat. The bit of moisture on the wicket. I'm sure the Josephine cap must be really happy. Um, looks like a good toss to lose. Well, the two most experienced Josephian batsmen at the wicket played very well the morning session. 76 without loss. Bit surprising to see them starting with a spinner, Polly having two left-arm fast bowlers in their ranks, not giving the new ball to both of them. Depending on the Nal Hemananda, but not being able to deliver that one swept. It's in the air a bit. That one might come back for the third. Yes, it's good running there. Let's say I'm moving on to 38, growing in confidence. Well, that was but down the leg side. It was, that a, was a chance, Polly. Didn't read it well. Sharan has been a bit lucky. Came in too slow, I think. This time, yes, he threw a single pushes it towards extra cover. Gets a single. I remember this game is the 87th game of the Josephine Peter and 87th encounter played for them for the Morris Legog trophy. The father Morris Legog was the founder of St Peter's College. St Peter's was founded in 1922 and celebrating will be celebrating their centenary next year while St Joseph's College uh, celebrated 125 years of existence this year. Well, St Peter started in 1922 as St Joseph South, and uh, in 1927, that's the end of the 21st over. We'll come back to it later. St Joseph's 80 for no loss. Then dialogue television perke um pari bogi ka samata. Ek reload dekin maas yat puram hithe hati ata TV palan. Dialogue television maas ka perke um super plans. Pahasu vasi saha vinata tovada vedi pura channel samaga. Dora geni mata maas ka plan dressa. Activate kiri mata rupeeal tunsi anu na vyakho. Adal super plan vati na kam ek vara reload karan. Dialogue television Sri Lanka ve anke ke television dressa swade. Come back! It's 80 for no loss. St Joseph's College being put into bat in this 87th Battle of the Saints encounter. We'll come back to that Legog story. Father Legog was the fourth rector of St Joseph's College and the founder of St Peter's College. So that's why this encounter is played for for the Morris Legog Trophy. As I mentioned earlier. 
St. Peter's College started as Colombo St. Joseph South and in 1927 they changed it to St. Peter's College. They will be celebrating their centenary year next year. A lot of celebrations Michael at St. Peter's next year. Yeah definitely they would like to have a big uh, bash. In the meantime, St. Joseph's moving on cautiously, but a solid start, 81. The Trides would have not expected this after winning the toss. Definitely the two Josephine batsmen have done very well, putting on a very good partnership. The two most senior batsmen in the lineup. Sharon Ponseca is the only player in the Josephine lineup to play a Josephine P. Tride game. But yes, the Trupa Singer 2 has been there for some time. But unfortunately, not been able to play a Josephine P. Tride. He's been in the system since 2018. So quite a long time around the first 11 season. And short ball. Should have been put, put away the boundary but well I thought he tried to push it behind the wicket keeper and I just pulled it away towards mid wicket lucky it didn't bounce twice before it went to the batsman we'll have the replay on that oh, he had plenty of time he had plenty of time he had already gone down on his uh, knees, so that's why he couldn't do anything about it. That's nicely put away by Yasutrupa Singh at this time. Fielder comes around to collect it. The run's coming now. A decent pace and after 22, 86 for now. Introducing the all-new Dialogue Television View Hub. Rewind and catch up TV. Over 5,000 apps on Google Play. Thousands of movies and TV series. Play games. Chromecast built in. Stunning 4K clarity. Dialogue Television View Hub. The ultimate TV experience. Well, out of the 86 encounters played previously, St. Joseph's College have won 12 encounters with St. Peter's, 10, out of which uh, two games have been awarded to St. Peter's. There he is. The highest, highest individual scores. A familiar yes. name there, Dimut Karnaratna. So last year it was a draw. St. Peter's getting the better of it. Only there are a few Petrides behind us waiting to get at you. Well, it's all said and fun. Definitely the Petrides have been doing very well in this game. Right throughout. Very keenly contested uh, series. 10, 12 wins to 10. Go for a good sweep there. Not connecting. Sharon Fonseca dropped on 36, but still have been batting well. A good opening partnership. Nice run rate of 3.5. 
3.87 Josephians will like to just up that a bit between the 4 mark so that they can push it on to the f to 5 to the end of the 60 overs but, but this is an excellent start with the ball swinging around in the morning session definitely it's a great start but uh, to think about 60 overs it's a bit too early Michael I think but if the Josephians can get up to about 250 it will be definitely a good score will put some additional pressure on the Pete Wright batsman at two, anything about 200 225 it's going to be a lot of pressure you can see the pitch taking some turn nicely driven again there Saran Fonseca into the 40s 41 now growing in confidence and after 23 89 for no Fun Blaster Gun Plus Plus Kerala. Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month. Activate today. The best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network, Dialogue. Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with a spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa. Feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. 89 for no loss after 23 overs these two batsmen really dominating this session well still 23 overs gone another 37 overs remaining in this innings still a long way to go Michael and you must understand that most experienced two batsmen at the wickets I think that's what uh, the Josephian coach would have wanted these two guys to bat as long as they can Both the guys complimenting each other well, 41 and 40. Charan taking a little bit longer than Yashit. They're betting very sensibly, not going for any big shots. Getting the singles whenever possible. Rotating the strike as you see from the scores, 40-42. Feel very well spread out, just one slip as a catcher. Wow. Just got to sweep it from wide outside the off stump. That, that area outside the left hand of the off stump has a lot of turn there. It's Do not, you think not Michael normally the SSC wicket after the first couple of hours? then it's very good for batting right so the Josephians have got up a good start and now they should continue with it play some good cricket 90 without loss at this stage that's beautifully played driven between cover and extra the mid off extra cover and mid off that's gone into the boundary for four Passing overtaking uh, the skipper. It's on the 44 now. Nicely flight at taken on the full. Split that gap between extra covers and mid off. Additional bit of flight was given in to him. And uh, Rupa Singer gladly accepted it. Timed it well. Will be too full there. It's much better there. Very well bowled, Shannon. As the Thropa singer grabbing the opportunity to play on a big game. It's on 44. That's the end of the over. St. Joseph's College 94 for no loss. Sharan Fonseca on 42 and Yasutrupa Singer on 44.
ඩයලොග් ටෙලිවිෂන් එක ගෙදර ස්කෝලේ ඩයලොග් සහ අධ්‍යාපන අමාත්‍යංශයේ එක්වගෙනින නැනස දැන් සියලුම ශ්‍රේණිවල විෂය නිර්දේශ පාඩම් සහිත නාලිකා 6ක්ම ඩයලොග් ටෙලිවිෂන් නොසි කිසිඳු ගාස්තුවක් නැතිව නරඹන්න ඔබේ දරුවාට ගෙදර ඉඳන් නෝමිලීම බාධාවකින් තොරව අධ්‍යාපනය කරගෙන යාමට සලස්වන්න Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with the spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all-new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa. Feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. Our Lions, our pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Fun blaster gun na plus plus karala Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook WhatsApp YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month Activate today the best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network Dialog Staying safe at home is what's truly important That's why we're delivering all Dialog connections right to your doorstep To purchase Dialog TV home broadband mobile connections smartphones and devices visit www.dialog.lk to order online no delivery charges conveniently and safely delivered island wide within 48 hours dialog the future today silimata ganna seat ekak mokadda basu rhino silim rhino silim vairam ratav devani ma rhino kemathi paata kemata haki plain silim rhino wahalata rhino silimata rhino sari shaktiyen wedi i know wal pavatma ihalai i know yedama adui i know hama atin ihalai i know adu sevasakata wedi janata vishwasaya nava sanyogekin rhino roofing sa ceiling shape rhino rhino Fun blaster gun na plus plus karala Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook WhatsApp YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month Activate today the best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network Dialog Silimata ganna seat ekak mokadda basu Rhino Silim Rhino Silim Vairam Ratav Devani Ma Rhino Kemathi paata kemata haki plain silim rhino wahalata rhino ah. silimata rhino sari shaktiyen wedi i know wal pavatma ihalai i know yedama adui i know hama atin ihalai i know adu sevasakata wedi janata vishwasaya nava sanyogekin rhino roofing sa ceiling shape rhino rhino well st joseph's college in a roll here Sharon Fonseca and uh, yes it through pressing 42 not out Sharon Fonseca of uh, 80 deliveries and yes it uh, 44 of 69 and uh, I think it's a very good start and uh, as we say what good morning Tanchika good morning to you Megan yes uh, after being put to bat first I think St Joseph's have done really well really well to get to 94 without any wickets loss St Peter's uh, bowling a uh, bit disappointing than Al Heyman and the expensive and wavered to start off and the, the spinners have not been able to get uh, a lot of purchase from this excessive uh, wicket uh, we know that once uh, the shine goes off in uh, the first hour or so this excessive wicket surely becomes easy to bat a brilliant partnership between Asitul Rupa Singh and Shan Fonseca just six runs short of uh, posting the 100 runs uh, so just what uh, st joseph needed uh, to start off the day well sun's baking out here at maitland place and uh, dana layman and there is back in uh, for his second spell let's see how how he fares uh, this time and uh, straight away i saw a uh, inward movement from dana changing ends uh, dana layman and there coming back uh, the media box end uh, looking for that swing yet uh, that's his key weapon swings it uh, both ways dana very skilled left arm unfortunately miss out on uh, the the 19 uh, asia cup squad but uh, he'll be looking to uh, prove a point in this game but so far there's been a disappointing bowling performance from him well once again shot from uh, danal hemanand is not going his way today it's not 
Certainly not his day today. The Pirates would have uh, would have expected uh, a good start from Danal. He has offered them that uh, throughout the past two seasons, giving wickets with the new ball and uh, giving that edge for the Pirates. Uh, in the first uh, few hours of the game but today he has been off color this is unfortunate another no ball well the rains continue Danal Hemananda struggles at the center I feel for the lad Sanchu. immensely talented and uh, he's got the potential to be a champion bowler and uh, this is his test, I think. And this will be certainly the biggest test in his career. The mental toughness to get through such lean periods. Once again, easily, easily guided uh, towards the third man region. Easy double. Uh, Patriots need to wake up, uh, Megan, I think. Uh, they are just holding back, uh, waiting things to happen. That's not the way to go. Uh, another 30, 35.3 overs remaining in this first inning since uh, the 60 over inning. We need to uh, get in there and uh, try to make something happen. You can't just let the game drift away like this. Well, easy single there. You know, with these kind of things, and that was that was brilliant stuff from Sharan Fonseca putting pressure on Niman Umesh. He knows that he's on his heels, and uh, it was brilliant to take that single. But seeing these things, uh, Ranjiko, one thing is certain. They're just waiting to go through the faces. They're just going through the motions. Right now, St. Peter's College, they've got to wake up. They've got to come back strong. Unless, uh, I think, St. Joseph's are going to run away with the game. Indeed, uh, lunch break is a uh, few minutes away from us, uh, so uh, we need to uh, find a breakthrough. Rupa Singer on 45, fuller delivery, he misses out this time. But uh, we spoke of the fielding performance as well, you can see hands on the hips, uh, not vocal around the wicket. Uh, so. Can, you can see the body language, Megan. It's, it's just, yeah. uh, they're just, like you said, going through the faces, just waiting something to happen, and that's not the way to go. Yeah, especially, especially, I think, uh, Sharan Fonseca and Yesi Thrupa Singh, they have just beaten them down. Beaten them down completely, and what, what, what surprises me is that uh, they've gotten, they've been able to do it within like two and a half hours, three hours into the game. Not three, for sure. Two and a half hours into the game. The highest first wicket stand for St. Joseph's uh, is 197 with Morris and Wilson in 1952. This could be interesting. That is change of balls, is it? I think it's out of shape. Nipunaka questioned it. I think the umpires are obliging him. Well, well, well. Can this change the fortunes for Pete Wrights? I think uh, they'll be expecting, they'll be hoping to have uh, a change of fortunes uh, with the ball change. Uh, taking a look at a few records uh, as individual scores for St. Joseph's. Uh, some uh, big dames. Uh, Jan Dennett in 2017, 124. We all remember that match. Uh, we had a chat five for a few, few, few minutes ago. Five wickets down that. for just 10 runs on board. And uh, he was he had, a he, had a, he had a lot of chances being missed as well. But what a knock that was. Well, that's Absolute coming from domination. a beat, right? That's coming from a beat, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm stating facts, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> you can watch the highlights if you want. <laughs> Jan Daniel. 100 is 100 whatsoever. And again, 
Sathi ra samra vikram I'm not taking anything away from Jan Daniel <laughs> it was one of the best innings i have ever seen <laughs> but i'm saying everything went in favor of favor for St Joseph's College and they got to get out got out of jail in that match thanks to Jan Daniel so that is one of the best innings i have ever seen Dinesh Jayakodi yes sir well, that, that is where i want to go next Dinesh Jayakodi 122 uh, in the last uh, last year's big match and i think Dinesh Jayakodi aggregates the most uh, for St Joseph's with Make that 100 says well he's a big match player to be honest when it comes to the big match when he's when he's against St Peter's College he will surely score <laughs> Dinesh Jayakodi wonderful bat uh, for St Joseph's College in the recent past Yes, he's been that player, having seen Dinesh Chakuri right from the start of his career. Let's get to it. 25 gone, 100 for none. See him again. See him again. Rhino, see him. Rhino, see him. Rhino, see him. Why Ram Rathav? Never knew. Rhino. Kamati part, Kamati hacky. Plain see him. Rhino. Wahalit Rhino. See him at that Rhino. Sorry, Shakti, you ready? I know. I'll pay with my Ihalai. I know. You're the man. I do. I know. Hema Atin. Ihalai. I know. Adu Seva Sakatavari Janata Vishwasi at Nava Sang Yogekin. Rhino. Roofing Sa Sealing Shay. Rhino. Rhino. Back live uh, at the SSE grounds. Uh, this coverage uh, by the number one sports hub in Sri Lanka, the Papare.com. Bringing you this uh, 87th Battle of the Saints. It is a Jesus College in St. Peter's College. Uh, lush green outfield as always here at the SSE grounds. But uh, unfortunate not to have the fans in here. That's what makes uh, big matches. Uh, Interesting, uh, given the health situation, uh, the protocols have not uh, allowed uh, the schools to uh, let fans come in in numbers and enjoy a match. And that's a 50, is it? No. Oh, it was 100 partnership, I beg your pardon. Well, a wonderful partnership indeed for St. Joseph's College. They've certainly dominated the game already. And I don't understand Nipunaka's ploy here, uh, uh, Ranjiga. Correct me if I'm wrong. All the fields set back. And uh, Nimanu Mesh, I don't think he is this go-to off spinner right now at this kind of a situation. Well, there was he turned. <laughs> Talk about commentators, <laughs> and that that works the other way around right now. But anyways, let's let's just get through whatever I was trying to say. It's like uh, just the one slip in, 25 overs, and if they get through this phase, if St Joseph's gets through this phase, and saying that, he's just carved it behind square, and that runs down, and that should be Sharan Fonseca's 50 is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it's Rupa Singer, in fact. Rupa Singh is 50, that is. And these two batsmen. Wonderful uh, knock uh, by the left hand. Uh, like you mentioned, Imanu may short and wide. He waits on it this time, plays it late, and finds the gap. Uh, no chance whatsoever for the keeper, for the, for the fielder. As I was saying, if these two get through this phase for over 30 overs, I think they're going to go bang, bang, bang. And I don't think there'll be anyone who can stop them. And not just them, it's going to be the center, entire St. Joseph's outfit. They'll have the resources. And look at that. That is what confidence does. And that is what, what uh, <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> explains the story of the day for the beat rights, that fielding effort. I'm sure Mr. Roger is going to be a very, 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 oh. very angry man. In These the boys <laughs> are going to get a good <laughs> hearing when they walk back uh, for the lunch break. Uh, that's the end of the over as well. It's 106 for note.
Fun Blaster Gun Plus Plus Kerala. Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month. Activate today. The best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network, Dialog. Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with the spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa. Feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. continue is that take it's taken yes uh, soft I don't, think the, I don't think the field reacts that no dropped it I think then uh, I thought he had this man a firm push uh, by yes it through passing once again that's the kind of day Danal Hemananda is having at the center yeah I think he needed that wicket uh, Danal unfortunate uh, and the Pete Rats also needed that wicket very badly. But once again, let's take a look at that replay. Firm push there. It was, in the it was on a good height, I must say. But uh, a valiant effort there from the fielder goes to the ground, unfortunately. Money Silva. Well, this time, no chance whatsoever for Danal Emananda. You've given him a life and he's used it to maximum. Well played, very well played there, isn't it? Wonderful stroke there. Elegant whenever whenever left hand uh, hits through the car the square cover region. It's always majestic. You look at that. No. Wonderful use of the wrist to keep the ball down. And, and you know what I love about that shot? You know what I love about that shot? The weight transfer. Look at that back foot. Look at that back foot, the weight transfer. Beautiful and placement incredible. Very well played from uh, Yesit Rupa Singh and I think he's getting in. And he's certainly in for a big one here. He's got his bearings right right now and I, I hope not to curse him. Sensible, sensible from the Josephian batters. Uh, they're not uh, troubled whatsoever. They're taking their own time, they are finding the gaps there. Their, their decision making is really good in this uh, in this batting performance so far. And this is what good starts can give. You've got you've got a good start. The rest just falls into place. It's all about getting through that first few first hour or so. You know, going tough at it. Well played, once again attacking, I said you, they're gonna get even more attacking once they get through this phase of our uh, 35 overs to 40 overs mark. If they get there without any wickets, I think they're gonna get really, really aggressive. Definitely. Things are looking ominous for the three tries at the moment. I think uh, Nipunuka Fonseca being the most senior player, 50th talisman needs to uh, talk to his players a bit take some time i think comparing both teams i think he's the most experienced he is concept. indeed he played uh, five seasons at uh, the other 19 level that's the top edge and will that run away yes it does that was not controlled whatsoever there by sharan fonseca but uh, fortune favors the brave they say he'll take it he'll take it doesn't matter how, how, how it comes he, he'll still take it and <laughs> Donald Hemlander as we said that's the kind of day he's having that time it was a good bounce but I think it was a little too way outside the off stump yeah bad shot uh, there from uh, Sharon Fonseca it was uh, away from his body he tried to drag it to the leg side could have uh, 
be easier to uh, go through the offside rather than trying to drag it to the leg side but uh, luckily got a top edge uh, and uh, went for a boundary but that's an indication too Ranjika that's an indication that they are looking for runs and this time that is it it's his 50 Sharan Fonseca very well deserved 50 for him Joseph Ian skipper and uh, here he is a delighted Sharan Fonseca been telling this for a while now that uh, he's one of the most consistent cricketers that I've seen in uh, the school scene, Sharan Fonseca. 87 balls, 3 boundaries and what an elegant bat to watch. 116 for none, 27 overs done. Sealy Mata Gunna Seed Tegam Kaddu Basu Rai No Sealy Ma Rai No Sealy Ma Vai Ram Rathav Devani Ma Rai No Kemati Paata Gemata Hekki Plain Sealy Ma Rai No Vahalita Rai No Sealy Ma Tath Rai No Sari Shakti Eng Vedi Rai No Al Pavetma Ihalai Rai No Yedama Adui Rai No Hema Atin Ihalai Rai No Adu Seva Sakatu Vedi Janata Vishwasya Nava Sang Yogekin Rai No Roofing Sa Sealing Shai Rai No Rai No Great situation to uh, be with. Sharon Fonseca's uh, maiden uh, big match half century. Santosh Gunitilaka is with me. Good knock. Yes, absolutely. Both have batted brilliantly. Sharon Fonseca, uh, captain in the side. And uh, they have just uh, come out here with a plan and uh, they've executed it really well. It has been um, partly assisted, uh, I think, as far as. Uh, Peters are concerned. Bowling on either side of the wicket, uh, this won't help. It's the pressure. The scoreboard pressure is now piling on uh, the Peterites. Not um, opening with uh, their experienced Vinu um, Dalienagi. Probably took a gamble to bowl that um, spinner Chamalka. Didn't work for them. Helped. Uh, the batsman to settle down from one end and to complicate the issues, uh, Danal Hemananda was not uh, able to pick up wickets uh, at least during the first five overs. More runs. You've been a top order batsman, too. you've been captain. What is the situation for Nipunoka now? Yes, uh, at this stage of the game, I think uh, he needs to uh, take the game slow. Uh, he needs to uh, talk to his bowlers, talk to his fielders and tell them to bowl it on one line and length. Uh, pile up on the dot balls and uh, cut the, the fielders who are up in the circle should cut the single and put the pressure on the batsman because at this stage, the two batsmen are set and they are uh, going for their shots and if they if you can pile up the pressure with the dot ball then they go to manufacture a shot and maybe throw away their wicket so 28 overs completed um, it's a healthy rate at 120 without loss josephians put into that Batted with uh, conviction. He started slow, but once he got the feel of um, the pace of the wicket, he batted extremely well. Yes, absolutely. As you can see, he, he was ready to pounce on those loose balls. Whatever uh, was offered, he was ready and uh, he batted really sensibly. Like you said, he took it slow at the beginning, respected the new ball, uh, saw the new ball off and uh, then uh, he got his eye in and went for his shots. The good thing is that uh, the um, captain for this big match, uh, Fonseca, at the other end, um, he was um, farming uh, the bowling from Danal Hemananda in particular. He looked very sensible as always. Yes, he, he has been one of the most consistent performers for uh, the Josephian outfit. And uh, uh, this time with an extra responsibility on uh, his shoulders, he has shown uh, what he's made of. Ah! 
Finally. Finally, Chamaika De Silva gets that vital wicket. Shiran Fonseca, the captain, departs for 52. A well-made 52 from him. Uh, not to forget the, a really good partnership which he put on for the first cricket with Jesse Rupa Singh. He set the tone, certainly, but this was a good bowling change too. Well flighted. Just get in line. We had only mentioned last over that they should uh, bowl in line with the stumps. Yes, absolutely. You, must, you, you need to keep it uh, uh, wicket to wicket and uh, the Chamaika De Silva gets the reward. Sean Fonseca departs for a well-made 52. St. Joseph lose their first wicket with 120 on the board. Fun Blaster Gun Plus Plus Kerala. Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month. Activate today. The best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network, Dialogue. Said it uh, start. Investment in is uh, Hiran Jasundra, second year player. Four absolute freshers for the Pete Wrights. Six of them for the Josephians. Not much, just a couple of games this season. There will be some pressure on him. He will be a little bit uh, uncomfortable at least for the first uh, couple of overs. Yes, the first few deliveries we will be really under pressure. He will have some butterflies in his stomach but uh, with a set batsman at the other end, I think uh, if he survives the first few deliveries, he will uh, go on to make something big with the, with the wicket uh, setting as well. Looking at the squad, I would have thought that uh, Sanche Gunutilaka, uh, Santush's younger brother, and uh, Sanuka Galakuda may had uh, a chance of playing um, the injury for young Gunutilaka. And uh, what happened with Galakuda? Didn't make it. Yes, I suppose. I'm not. I'm not really sure what happened, but I think he didn't make it because Vishen Alambege got the opportunity. Okay. Good looking shot. Confident start to get. Uh, the middle of the bat on the ball at least uh, one good thing is a slip and a gully and a forward short leg in position all because of uh, this uh, break of the opening partnership oh, yes getting some turn and lift bounce that's confidence yeah that's confidence Positive start, very positive start. Uh, the forward short leg was put at uh, Silly Midoff and he bowled a short delivery. Yes, uh, really bad delivery there. Dropped it short to the new batsman and uh, Hiran Jayasundar wouldn't have asked for a better ball to get off the mark in his first big match. Yes, quick on his feet, went back and pulled it into the gap for four. Looks a busy player coming in at number three, the most pivotal batting position in uh, any cricket team. Good to see him uh, looking positive. Plenty happening out in the middle. 29 completed, 124 for one. We got taking over for the Pete Wrights, finally. Silimata gun seat take him for the bus. I know Silima, Rhino Silima. Why Ram Ratav? Devon Ima. I know Kamati Pata, Kamata Haki, plain Silima. Rhino. Wahaleta Rhino. Silima Tat Rhino. Savishakti, ready. 
coach probably paid a price during that time now the weather is good um, it's good for batting the wicket has settled a lot the outfield is fast plenty of spaces on this vast outfield it's only sensible batting that needs uh, to be applied is it rupa singh uh, should make sure that he bats uh, the 60 overs uh, because that will uh, help the Josephians get uh, into a commandable position uh, because two new batsmen on this wicket and with the uh, with them having all freshers silly shot really unwanted at this stage that's gifting your wicket just as i said he needs to bat the 60 overs he goes and plays a river sweep a very careless shot at this stage after losing a wicket in the previous over he should have put his head down and batted for at least uh, a couple of more overs before playing a loose shot nima numesh once again from the edge of the crease he got the ball angled towards uh, the wicket itself very poor selection of uh, playing that delivery so he goes for 57 Fun blaster gun a plus plus Kerala Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook WhatsApp YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month Activate today the best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network Dialog 7 fours for his uh, 57 88 balls Yesit uh, Rupa Singh joins his opener captain Shivan Fonseca in the dressing room. I'm sure Dilan Ramanayaka, the head coach, would not be happy. This guy, long future in front of him. Yes, two new batsmen in at the crease now. Mithila Tenura, the new batsman for the Josephians. They need to rebuild the innings now with uh, the two set batsmen back in the dressing room. He's been in the setup for some time. A third-year player. plays for Badurulia so experience at um, premier division level top score of 20 of only just 3 matches played this season is a really handy all rounder as you said he played he played for Badurulia and uh, he performed uh, fairly well in the recently concluded domestic season so he's bringing in some first class uh, experience as well into this uh, big match Did you play against Badrulia? We had yeah. a match against them but uh, it was a wash out. Unfortunately. 60% of that tournament was washed out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is what happened. Oh. Umpire thought hard before ruling the batsman out. Unwanted shot at that situation at that stage of the game. But nevertheless, Nima Numesh gets a wicket. Oh, spun and bounced and encouraging. Yes, and good, good, good way to end the thirtieth over. Good over from Nima Numesh. The Chesterfields are one twenty-four for the loss of two. So to send the. The two openers um, back to the pavilion in consecutive overs. They picked up wickets from either side. Makes it a little bit more interesting going into for lunch on the first day of the 87th Battle of the Saints. Just the breakthrough they needed. They got uh, two breakthroughs indeed. In fact, and uh, both set batsmen back in the dressing room, uh, which means uh, uh, have the Pete Price got. 
themselves back in the game. Very much so, it would be Mehdi. A wicket or two here will expose the middle order and the low order. And uh, from being in a commander position, they might even slip down to a very low total. He's operating round the wicket. Uh, surprises me though. Your spinner. So you will uh, expose yourself uh, when you try to angle the ball across the body. If you are a busy body on your feet out in the middle, you could create that angle to play the shot. That's exactly what uh, Jasundra did on that occasion. Yes, he was successful, Tamalka, from this end uh, to the left hand, but it's a right hand uh, now, actually, two right handers out in the middle. And he continues to bowl from there. The pitch, I think, uh, offers a bit of turn and bounce. I think if he can come over the wicket and try exactly. to turn the ball, maybe to trouble the batsman more. See, even that flighted delivery, you are going across the body. Enough time for the batsman to see. Yes, absolutely. And Hiran Jayasundar, very quick on his feet. He goes back uh, for the short ball and uh, dances down the track when the ball is flighted a bit. So, batting positively, Hiran Jayasundar. See, he's gone out of the response. Make him play. Because, oh, somebody on the grounds, it's a cramp. Hemananda. Mm. That's the last uh, St. Peter's wanted. It could be even a strategy. What's the strategy? Surely? Take the game slow, maybe. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't give that ad advice to the winner former captain. <laughs> you want to pick up another wicket? Surely. <laughs> We all have been there. Uh, you, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had a wonderful stay out in the middle. Played only three fours. But uh, Fonseca handled the pressure very well. It's another boundary. Very well struck once again. He hasn't been consistent with his lines and lengths. This time too, dropping it short. Uh, and Mitra Tenura getting off the mark with that boundary. He bowled a short ball to Hiran as well and he was also quick to pounce on it. Yeah, he, he created that um, distance, uh, getting well back uh, on his stump, on his crease. It's not all that short, but uh, he was so far behind. He had time to play. So both batsmen getting off the mark with the boundary. <sighs> this is this is trouble. Trying too many things there, Chamelka. He just needs to land it on the good areas and turn the ball. With two new batsmen in, the pressure is just shifted back into the ball inside. So this is going to this is going to be a situation. Just take a look at that. Angled across his body and dropped it short. Inviting the batsman to go square out the wicket on the on side. He did it well once again, hitting it to the ground. It's time. Mithira. Hmm. Almost a walk off the park. 31 gone, 135 for 2. Sea limit is a seat. Rhino, Sea limit. Rhino, Sea limit. Why Ram Rata? Rhino. 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 Navasang Yogekin, Rhino Roofing Sa Ceiling Shape. Rhino, Rhino. What 
about trying a leg spinner with the two right handers out in the middle? Yes, absolutely. I would, I would have definitely gone with a left armer maybe. Uh, having, especially having two right handers at the same time, the pitch offering a bit of turn and bounce. The other side of the coin is that uh, they have been the successful bowlers, but uh, the two batsmen dismissed have been left handers. One good thing about uh, Niman Umesh is that uh, he is a lot more uh, spot bowling type. Tries to land the ball in uh, one area, one spot. Yes, he's very accurate and he gets uh, a lot of turn and bounce, especially on this wicket. And uh, that's why he, has, he was uh, successful bowling to the left-handers. Good commitment. They need to be um, making the batsman play and uh, Nima Numesh uh, has that particular aspect in his bowling. Oh, good variation. Really good delivery they are bowling the ball away from the batsman this time. The previous ball turned, bounced and got the inside edge of the batsman and this time. Uh, he bowled it uh, away from the batsman and uh, the batsman got beaten on the outside edge. Good thinking from Iman Umesh. Very good flight. Very good flight. So this is what is needed to um, get the dot poles in as Santosh mentioned. was uncalled for very lucky was he standing too far away from uh, the wicket keeper or what happened it went straight into the gap one of the faintest of edges the captain was there that slipped interesting to see this Genuine edge, genuine edge, big gap. Very frustrating <laughs> when uh, it just go like that. And now he's standing close. He's flirting with danger, Mithira Tenura. Well bold once again. So much happened without uh, picking up a wicket. 32 is gone. Two down for 138, St. Joseph's. I think they heard you, Harita. They got a left arm in, Monil Silva. Uh, he hasn't bowled yet. He comes to bowl uh, to the new two new batsmen, two right-handers. Fresher. Good time to bring him. Just uh, not much time left for the lunch break on day one. Yes. Three for 32. So he has uh, the ability to pick up wickets. The only time he has taken wickets uh, in this series, in this season, brother. Oh, I like this. I like this. Lot of air given. He loves to fight the ball. He loves to throw the ball up in the air. He'll uh, get the batsman out of his crease and uh, he'll have to play with uh, authority and uh, risk-free once you get out of the crease. Iran Jaisundra seems to love uh, stepping out 
uh, to the spinners. He got that uh, on the full toss and uh, he was able to get a couple of runs. I think that was Mithira who was batting. Is it? This is Mithira. Yes. You're right. Yes. I don't understand why they have a sweeper cover on the fence. Spare a thought for the silly of <laughs> So now when the batsman started coming out, he's trying to drop it short. That's not the idea. Seems to be a left arm version of uh, Niman Umesh to me. Good. He got the best one out of his crease. That's what he needs to yeah, that's uh, what he keep needs doing. To do. Went full uh, first over for Monil. 33 gone, 142 for 2 St. Joseph's. I don't know if you're going to be boring. I'm 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 going to be boring. St. Peter's head coach Roger Vijay Surya, master in charge Sunanda Fernando. Sports Coordinator, Reverend Father Milan Bernard and Director, Reverend Father Ranjit Andradi. Collective effort to get this match uh, going. Mm. Loud call there, but uh, by denied. Uh, Vidura Prasad, uh, it was turning. Good decision. But uh, the good thing is the flight is there, the turn is there. Bowling wicket to wicket. He dropped it uh, wide outside off stamp and a very good response. Mithira Tenura, he was very quick to spot that. Get to position and place it very well. One good thing uh, from these two batsmen is that they are batting really positive. They, are, they have not uh, put any pressure. Uh, playing their first big match and they have come out with uh, intent and they are showing it uh, brilliantly here. I think uh, partly the credit should go to head coach uh, Dylan Ramanak of uh, St. Joseph's, master in charge Asiri Caldera, prefect of games, Reverend Father Priyan Tisera, director, Reverend Father Rohita Rodrigo. Collective effort uh, by those uh, people together with the match organizing committee a lot of work to do bubble situations bio bubble health uh, restrictions health guidelines it's a promising partnership almost run a ball how many runs are they looking at 275 Yes, definitely more 250 plus, definitely, with, uh, with the start they got from the opening batsman. And, uh, oh, indecision, both batsmen out of their crease. Good effort. Good effort from the field uh, at short extra cover. Saved a couple of runs for his team and almost uh, resulted in a run out. So that ends the 34th over. St. Joseph's 2 down for 148 on the board. So is that lunch? That would be a 120 run uh, opening stand. So 34 overs. Uh, back for another 26 after the break. We should create the situation. Uh, these two looking good, both on 14. 
and having open scoring with uh, boundary both of them they looked good bouncing on whatever loose delivery that was bowled on them so overall i would think that uh, a couple of wickets late uh, in the um, morning session i have brought uh, the peters back into this game even stevens i would think yes uh, absolutely it's definitely even stevens now and uh, the peters would be uh, really happy and uh, pleased they got two wickets uh, just before the lunch break uh, if not it would have been uh, chaos uh, for them but uh, they're back in the game uh, 26 more was to go and they'll come back after lunch very fresh and uh, the just friends will have a task in their hand yeah the um, respective coaches will give uh, specific instructions on um, how to get about uh, the situations in joseph sir uh, will be very happy after being sent in um sharan fonseca and yesit roop singh put on a superb opening partnership both of them departed within a couple of overs um very good cricket uh, yesit had uh, seven fours while sharan hit uh, three fours almost the same number of balls faced now after that um, there are 11 extras uh, in that just take a look at that uh, six no balls most of them by danal hemanand iran jasundran mitra thenur uh, batting together looking good uh, at the moment spinners have uh, done the trick uh, in successive overs chamelka i was surprised to see him bowling uh, with uh, danal hemanand and uh, niman umesh uh, the other wicket taker but vinod uh, leenge just three overs i thought uh, would have been given uh, a little bit more uh, as far as the bowling is concerned certainly he didn't open bowling to uh, yes uh, niman umesh uh, the other bowler who was able to pick a wicket and uh, he bowled 10 overs four runs for one wicket Sh- shannon bowled just the three overs for his 14 runs and monil bowl uh, one over just before the lunch break and as you can see the fall of wickets a good partnership opening partnership of 120 and uh, they lost their second wicket just uh, four runs later so then uh, Lehman and they started bowling uh, much was expected of him but uh, that was the first boundary for the josephine captain and then it was uh, yes it rupa singer who was uh, taking control slowly yes they started really slow and uh, they saw the uh, new ball and then later on uh, when the bowlers were getting frustrated without any wickets they dropped uh, the ball short bowled it too full and the batsman uh, pounced on all those loose balls and uh, they just uh, toyed the peter red bowling line up uh, in the morning session they looked good uh, punishing whatever loose delivery is like on that uh, occasion didn't try to overhit uh, excellent batting it's not easy under these circumstances they have not had too much of cricket over the last month or so certainly over the season but um, they lived up to what was expected and uh, occasionally helped by some wayward bowling first to get to 50 was yesi thrupa singer he was uh, very happy indeed they look solid both look solid shiran fonseca uh, leading the team this time and uh, he just showed uh, uh, what he is made of he took responsibility as uh, the standing captain yeah he's made in a uh, big match half century he was first out good delivery from uh, chamel ka diselva jasundra started off with the boundary this was uh, the big situation playing river sweep uh, rupa singh against uh, nimanu mesh then mitra tenwar also started with a couple of boundaries on either side of the wicket yes they were very quick to go back and uh, come forward and they, uh, they they punished every loose deal that came their way and that was offered so uh, they put on a runner ball uh, partnership uh, both both of them on 14 not out and uh, they were got their team back into the game just before lunch so it's lunch and uh, we'll come back uh, after the start of play which uh, is uh, less than half an hour
very good afternoon to everyone watching the 87th battle of the saints between st joseph's college and st peter's college this is the day one the post lunch session here at ssc grounds st peter's college earlier won the toss and elected to field first st joseph's college they well placed at 148 for two in uh, 34 overs they have 26 overs left in their first innings for all those who don't know the rules the first innings has been restricted to 60 overs per side st joseph's 148 for two in 34 overs this will be a shortened session with uh, 26 overs remaining in the Josephian first innings interesting 26 overs coming up a very good afternoon to you Ranjika good afternoon Damit and uh, good afternoon uh, to all our viewers as well yes uh, St. Joseph's uh, right on top after being put to bat first uh, by Nipunika Fonseca 100 run partnership for the first wicket between Yesit Rupasinga and Chiran Fonseca but two quick wickets uh, before the lunch break uh, gave uh, some hope uh, for the beat rights but still I think uh, all all the keys are in the hands of the Josephians to continue the onslaught Monil Silva will start off proceedings the left arm spinner he bowled just one over before lunch Hiran Jayasundra, a very busy player, loves using his feet, that's his forte, Hiran Jayasundra, still just 16 years of uh, age, Monil Silva, the left arm spinner, the possible replacement for Vanu Jasahan playing in this uh, big match. You can uh, watch this uh, live coverage on uh, Dialogue Television channel 128 and on uh, POTV channel 120. The 87th Battle of the Saints in played on the 13th and 14th of December. The 47th Limited Overs Encounter will be played on the 16th of December. All games will be played here at SSC Grounds. Pitrites uh, <coughs> need to start off well in this uh, post lunch session. They need to make sure they dry out the runs, not give away easy singles inside the ring field. Uh, they need to make sure they, they, they tighten the screws uh, and uh, price out some wickets uh, before these two batsmen get their eye in once again. That's the first run of uh, the post lunch session. Completes the 35th over, St. Joseph's 149 for two. Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with a spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa, feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. Our Lions, our pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Fun Blaster Gun Plus Plus Kerala. Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month. Activate today. The best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network, Dialogue. St. Peter's College will have uh, two left arm spinners bowling in tandem from both the ends. Shannon Rodrigo, another fresher, will be bowling with a slip and a close infielder. Starts off with a straighter one, uh, cramped for room, uh, Iran, but uh, manages to find the gap. 
for a single. 150 up for St. Joseph's College. We still have uh, 25 overs left. We'll be eyeing somewhere around 250 now. Easy couple of runs for Mitra Tenura. This is a very big ground for schools cricket, Ranjika. There are a lot of gaps here. Some of uh, these uh, players might have not played at an international test venue. So it's very important that you, that you run hard just like this. Plenty of gaps. He tries missing the block once again. Uh, not uh, getting their field placing right and the bowling as well. Uh, Nipunaka needs to make sure they need to make sure that they dry out the runs as I said earlier. Can't afford to let the game uh, go by like this uh, and let these batsmen, let's see two bat batsmen get quick runs uh, and get their eye in. They need to make sure they, they dry out the runs and tighten the screws. But it's not the case so far. Another short delivery pulled, but a good bit of fielding there from this keeper. Is it? Uh, this look like uh, I think it is Boteju there doing the fielding. Risk free cricket from these two players, and they've already got seven runs. <coughs> no ball can't afford to bowl no balls as a spinner Ranjika not oh. accepted from a spinner and uh, these are little things that you need to uh, prevent from happening he is no ball that's gone wrong shot there misjudged the length completely Mithira Tenura has to walk back brilliant comeback uh, from Shannon to get the wicket of Tenura. He was looking dangerous. He was very busy in the crease. But this time he just miss, missed just the length and the line. Here we go. The straighter one it was. Missed it completely. And uh, castled by Shannon. Much needed breakthrough for St. Peter's College. Mithira Tenura, he departs for 20. St. Joseph's now 157 for 3. Fun Blaster Gun Plus Plus Kerala. Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month. Activate today. The best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network, Dialogue. Batsman is uh, Kenneth Saspina. He's here because of this. There's nowhere for a cut shot there, Ranjika. Look at the length, uh, David. That was right up there for a drive, but uh, he misread it, misjudged it, and uh, and paid the price. Uh, Tenura. Shannon Rodrigo looks up uh, to the skies after getting a much needed uh, breakthrough. His first picket in this uh, Joe Pete big match series. Kenneth uh, Sasmina haven't played a single first 11 game for St. Joseph's College before this. So you're debuting in your, the big match. What a moment for the young 15 year old. Obviously uh, playing because of uh, some of the Senior players not been available due to national duty. Taking his time, the batsman. Rooster to start off, a real gift. 
Futas on the leg stamp. Gets back uh, for a couple. And that ends a uh, successful over for the beat rights. 36 overs gone. St. Joseph's College on their 59 for 3. Dialogue Television Nick get the race coolie. Dialogue Saha the Hapanamatian Shay Ekwakin in a Nanasa. Then Silumus Renival of Vishen in the Shapadam site, Nalika Hayakma. Dialogue Television Nusi, Kisindukas Twak Nativan Arabana. Obeta Wata get the Rindan, no Milim Bahadahabakin Torova at the Hapane Kerakinamata, Salaswan. Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with the spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa, feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. Quick single there. Very good running between the wickets by Hiran Jayasundara and Kenneth. Kenneth Lianagay. Playing his first game for St. Joseph's College in the under-19 level, the first official one I should say because they've been playing practice games leading up to the big match. He has 24 overs to make sure he makes a name for himself, young uh, left-hander. To see a slip in players for the left hand as well for Monil Silva. Another loose for Kenneth. Two balls he faced. There uh, have been two full tosses from the spinners. Just couldn't uh, maneuver the field this time. Earlier he got two runs. This was only a single. 20. 3.4 overs remaining for the Josephians uh, to get uh, to a big total. That's turn. Good sharp turn there from uh, Monils. This will be interesting uh, for the Josephian bowlers as well. They'll be looking uh, at this very carefully, very keenly. Taking a look at that once again. That sharp turn there from the straight. Surely going to be interesting uh, later on, uh, but before jo St. Jo St. Joseph's uh, think about their bowling, they need to make sure they they pounce on this uh, really good start that they got uh, and get a big total on board. That's the end of the 37th over. St. Joseph's 161 for 3. Silimata gana seed tegam kaddu basu. Rhino Silim, Rhino Silim. Why Ram Radhav, Devani Ma? Rhino, Kemati Pata, Kemata Haki, Plain Silim. Rhino. Vahalita Rhino. Silimata Rhino. Sabi Shakti Eng Vedi. I know. Al Pavetma Ihalai. I know. Yedama Adui. I know. Hema Atim Ihalai. I know. Adu Seva Sakata Vedi Janata Vishwasya Navasan Yogekin. Rhino, Roofing Sa Sealing Shape. Rhino, Rhino. Manu Mesh have been uh, brought back into the attack. He has bowled 10 overs. Picked up the wicket of uh, Jesse Thrupa Singh. He'll be 39 runs. Two very inexperienced batters in the middle. Ranjika. That's where St. Joseph's College will dearly miss uh, the services of their senior players. They are the ones who um, carried the team throughout the season in the middle order. Manchester's moments for the youngster. Pit Wright's uh, feeling has been disappointing in this uh, game so far. The, the intent has not been there. They haven't been sharp enough uh, closing. They haven't been able to cut those singles inside the 30-yard circle. It has been disappointing, very disappointing from 
speed rides uh, but uh, surely we're trying to change that around in this post lunch session they have to otherwise uh, the Zivians will punish them Joseph's college will need uh, one more player to bet on till the end this is very good running between the wickets by these two players it's imperative uh, that you convert uh, these dots into singles and singles into twos especially in a game which is restricted to uh, 60 overs straight away two fielders saving the boundary in the onside for Jasundara. Loud appeal, but uh, umpire is not moved. Let's take a look at that once again. Way outside the, the off stump, no chance whatsoever. There, very optimistic uh, appeal from the bowler and the keeper. A bit of feel in there from Chamalka. And that ends the 38. It's 162 for 3. Sealy Matagan, the seat taken for the bus. I know Sealy Matter, I know Sealy Matter. Why Ram Rata? There were Nima. I know Kamati Pata, Kamata Haki, plain Sealy Matter. I know Wahaletter, I know Sealy Matter, I know Savishak thing ready. I know Malpever, I know Yedama, I do. I know Hema Atin, I know. I do say was a good very Janata Vishwasi, now a son yogi king. Rhino, roofing sa ceiling shape. I know Rhino. Light delivery there from Moni Silva. Very strange uh, bad grip, I should say. Ranjikar of uh, Kenneth holds the bat uh, very low. Cheeky there. Using the angle pretty well, Kenneth. Couple of uh, runs added to the score. They need a partnership here. They've uh, put on 120 for the first stand, but uh, nevertheless, these are pretty uh, interesting uh, phase of play. Couple of more wickets could uh, swing the game in favor of St. Peter's College. So they need couple of uh, batters to string up a partnership here looks to be a good bet uh, I think uh, this young lad uh, Kenneth uh, is 15 years of age playing his debut first 11 game and uh, he fancies a sweep as well his uh, fourth or the fifth time he used the sweep to good effect it's a good sign uh, growing up, uh, especially playing in turning pitches in Sri Lanka. To have your sweep uh, sorted, I think that's a really, really good uh, point for a batsman. And like you mentioned, Damit, yes, uh, game hanging in the balance after that wicket of Mithira. Petra, uh, will need to be disciplined. But so far, it's still, I would say that the advantage is on St. Joseph's College. Uh, Mainly due to that uh, big start they got, big opening stand. He did time it well, Hiran uh, Jayasundara. 
but uh, nevertheless they keep the scoreboard moving 39 overs completed 166 for 3 Introducing the all new Dialogue Television View Hub Rewind and Catch Up TV Over 5000 apps on Google Play Thousands of movies and TV series Play games Chromecast built-in Stunning 4K clarity Dialogue Television View Hub The ultimate TV experience Match bag of 10 wickets and above for St. Peter's College. We'll bring you that interesting stat once again. Shannon Rodrigo going through the overs very quickly. Much better discipline this time from Shannon this time. He's uh, sticking to the stumps. And that's the way to go when uh, there isn't much turn available. Good run there once again. This has, I've been uh, telling this uh, quite often, uh, Damit. The fielding inside the circle has been really, really disappointing from the Pete Rights. No intensity whatsoever. They've given away those easy singles and that will come back to haunt them if uh, St. Joseph go on to uh, post a big total. Yes, uh, the fielders must always remember that this is a 60 over game. You have to be uh, on alert just like when you're playing uh, a 50 over game. Only uh, just over 20 overs left. Every run matters at this moment. Especially for a young pair like Hiran Sundar and Kenneth Lianagay. Much better, oh, I would say, uh, from Shannon. Good lines and good lengths. Uh, and going for a single in this over, so very good so far. It's a short one, uh, and a loud appeal, but uh, it's no good. Uh, that ends the 40th, it's 167 for three. Our Lions, our pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Last man dismissed was uh, Mitura Tenura for 20. Top uh, wicket takers, uh, Jerry Solomon's there. Dion Wallace twice. Travis Fernando, long time ago, and Tanisha Virokon, the last of the 10 plus, together with Julian De Silva. In times that we can remember. Good rate of scoring, 20 extra, 20 overs more. But if they get another 100 runs, it should be quite a good one. Tell me about Kenneth Leonigi. Interesting. Remarkable story, that. Interesting story, isn't it, Harita? Very young kid uh, making his first 11 debut today in uh, the all important big match. And uh, he's looked uh, pretty busy as well since uh, the time he walked out to the middle. Set, uh, very young boy, but he's uh, very well set, big man. I remember some big men, left-handers for St. Joseph's. Gary Melda was one. Although not exactly the same mold uh, 
Kiran Kure, Duchan Souza. Okay, we've got to mention this uh, Pereira. Been I've, been, I've been impressed with uh, Moniso. Occasionally, he surprises the batsman. Yes, uh, he's been getting good purchase uh, out of this track so far. Even that ball uh, just spinning out of uh, the footmarks, I would say, but not really a uh, lot of footmarks as yet. Once again, that mm. uh, same line pulled by Monil. This is a good tussle. We've seen left arm spinners, left arm batters. Mm, he's getting that ball to turn. Practice is pitching it a little bit uh, too far outside of stump. One of the features has been these quick uh, singles. That's very impressive. Yeah, they've corrected your name, Roscoe Tatil. <laughs> yeah, it was Bridges Jaganadun. Roscoe. For those of you who didn't know, 100 wickets and 1000 runs or 800 uh, runs and uh, 80 wickets? That was uh, that Veera Singer boy who did that. <laughs> Good stroke uh, oh. this time from Hiran. Goes over mid on, it's running down to the boundary and uh, it just reaches the boundary and uh, a welcome boundary for St. Joseph as well. Going into a bit of a uh, slow period of run scoring, but uh, this time good use of the feet and uh, clearing the mid on field. The intent was there to get to the pitch and uh, hit it over the top. Well played, Hiran. Sealy Matagan, the seat taken for the bus. I know Sealy Rhino Silima Why Ram Radhav? Devan Ima Rhino Kemati Pata Kemata Hacky Plain Silima Rhino Wahalita Rhino Silima Tat Rhino Savi Shakti Ng Vedi I know Wahal Pavetma Ihalai I know Yedama Adui I know Hema Atin Ihalai I know Adu Seva Sakata Vedi Janata Vishwasya Navasan Yogekin Rhino Roofing Sa Sealing Shape Rhino Rhino And uh, the opener has got uh, half centuries with a century opening stand. So the consistency is there at the top of the order. Yes, Harith, uh, considering the fact they are missing three of their main batsmen as well. Once again, a very good single. The Pete Wright fielders are, are a bit on their heels, conce conceding a few very easy singles. Uh, and uh, going back to my point, uh, three main batters, Dunit Vella, Lagia, Shewan, Daniel and Sadish Jayavardhan, all three missing uh, in today's 11 for St. Joseph. Two so of them were definitely top order. Jayavardhan would have opened and Daniel would have probably come at number three. Vella, Lagia, maybe number five. Yeah, on the same count, um, St. Peter's would have lost uh, their leading spinner. Vanujasan Kumara, he bowled well and fielded well too in the under 19 series against England and uh, Bangladesh. Very unfortunate. Uh, you want to play for your school, the big match in particular with national duty has forced them to sit out this uh, match. That looks close. Very full delivery. The umpire's finger stays down, but uh, it will be interesting to. Look at this replay. He's a uh, signal runs as well, so the umpire thinks he got a bit of bat on it. That looks uh, very, very close. Probably a lucky escape for Kenneth Lien again. Once again over mid on. Good connection. That's another boundary for Hiran. Iran Jai Sundara moves on to 29. He's batted sensibly, he's batted well.
good shot. He waited, waited, took it on the half volley. So he's turning out to be quite an asset now. With uh, the end of the 42nd over, St. Joseph's on uh, 180 for 3. Fun Blaster Gun Plus Plus Kerala. Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month. Activate today. The best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network, Dialogue. Medavasala Gedaratam Vila Inna Gatika Boring Vagay Neda. හැබැයි මට නම් ඒක ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ ඩයලොග් TV තියෙන නිසා මේ උත්සව සමයේ gedara hamotama satuta share karanna sama dialog television pari bogikikutama des vides siyulu manalika rupiyal 100 ekata dina 14 ak pura narambimata avasthawak activate kirima my dialog app ho sms magin dialog television sri lankawe anka eke television rasaswade The wicket column being empty for Danal Heyman and there would have uh, hurt the bowler as well as the team uh, immensely. And uh, probably the reason why uh, St. Joseph's are enjoying such a comfortable situation at the moment. Once again, uh, good batting from Kenneth Lee and again. 181 for 3. This has been a very well paced inning so far from St. Joseph's. Going into the latter half of their innings, uh, it is restricted to 60 overs, 43rd over being bowled now. They'll be looking uh, for something around 260 with this start, at least I would say. What about the rest of the batting? Uh, Lahiru Amarsekar can bat. Who else? Maybe Shenuka De Silva. Uh, plenty of new faces in this 11. So, a lot of opportunity as well uh, comes with that. Yeah, really. Some of them we should take uh, maximum use out of it. Uh, some have already taken maximum use, which is very good. You reckon um, 260 is uh, within reach? Yes, of course. Uh, 18 overs to go, 7 wickets in hand. He seems to be a pretty good, strong onside player, Kenneth uh, Lienge. Plays with uh, some amount of danger, some of the shots. Pitched on leg stump when the delivery. St. Peter's uh, bowling their two left arm spinners uh, in tandem. Playing a little bit uh, into the hands of the left-handed Kenneth Lee Nagy, I would say. Yeah, it's uh, threatening to rain later in the evening. 43 gone. 183 for 3, Jules. Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with the spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all-new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa. Feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. Lions, our pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Fun Blaster Gun Plus Plus Kerala. Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month. Activate today. The best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network, Dialogue. Niman Umesh uh, has been introduced uh, into the attack once again. He's bowled 11 overs. He's picked up one wicket uh, as we look at uh, the victims. In the past big matches, uh, five or more victims in a game. Very soft dismissal. Kenneth Lianagay dancing down the track. First ball of the off spinner. And... Uh, He's uh, just run past one and uh, the Josephians uh, lose their fourth wicket. He didn't step out, he ran to meet the ball. No comeback. Very well bowled. 
Dr. Gay said, thank you very much. That's a that's an important uh, breakthrough. Nima Numesh uh, now has two wickets. Uh, before this, he was one of three bowlers who had picked up a wicket. Staying safe at home is what's truly important. That's why we're delivering all dialog connections right to your doorstep. To purchase Dialog TV, home broadband, mobile connections, smartphones and devices, visit www.dialog.lk to order online. No delivery charges. Conveniently and safely delivered island-wide within 48 hours. Dialog. The future today. Hirun Kapur Bandara is the new batsman. St. Joseph's 183 for 4 in the 44th over. During lunch, uh, met up with Nuan Soiza, who is uh, the neutral adjudicator for this big match. Siobhan Fonseca for St. Joseph's and uh, Lorian Moses for St. Peter's are the others. Individual awards on offer best fielder, best bowler, best uh, batsman, best all rounder, man of the match. Best bowler last time around was Vinu the Lienage, the Pete Wright. Big appeal. I think uh, the impact was probably out at off stump on that occasion. Interesting to see a replay though. Donald Heyman and the was judged to be stalled round uh, last time around. Yes. Good decision, beat the batsman. Little bit of turn. The good thing about him is uh, he's trying to pitch the ball in line with the uh, stumps. 90% of the time. Straight away, sweep shot to get off the mark for Kapuru Bandara. The ball has uh, started to spin a bit more since lunch, which is probably a good uh, sign for the Josephians with a few runs on the board. Dismissal. Very well flighted, very well bowled. He kept on moving towards the delivery and once it pitched it just spun away from him see the moment you get out of the crease uh, to a spinner uh, one cardinal rule is that you must make sure that you try to cover the ball either with your bat or with your pad never mind hitting putting a shot in place Jaya Sundar holds the key now for St. Joseph's. He's uh, unbeaten on 30. He's probably got to bat through uh, till that 60th over now. He's looked good. He wants to play his shots. Forty-four overs gone. It's 184 for four. Silimer gun seat, take him the bus. I know Silimer, I know Silimer. Why Ram Rata? They were near. I know Kamati part, the Kamata Haki, plain Silimer. I know Wahalet, I know Silimatat, I know Savishakti, ready. I know Halpever, I know Yedama, I do. I know Hema Atin, I know. I do say was a good very Janata Vishwasi, now a son yogi king. Rhino, roofing sa ceiling shade. Rhino. Schools cricket uh, will have to be uh, thoroughly organized uh, to start uh, at the beginning of the next term. Then, uh, somewhere around March, uh, the ordinary level exams. Then, um, April, May, they are trying to play the limited overs tournament. Onil Silva, he's uh, pulled six decent overs, gone for just 20 runs, doing a decent job for his captain. 
he's not very threatening but uh, being economical is also one way of uh, containing the batsman good double So the Josephians have used the sweep shot quite a lot since lunch. Uh, that's also probably an indication of the ball starting to spin a bit more. What do you say when you cross uh, on the middle? You say double or two? Your batsman? Probably it's two. Or oh, Dekai. <laughs> oh yeah. There was a time. There was some batsman uh, in my plate. You cross double. From the edge of the crease, well bowled, very well bowled. This is control that I'm impressed with. Say 44 overs and four balls bowled, all fours. The dot ball will uh, maintain the same. So it's the um, couple of runs only from that 50, 45th over. 186 for 4, St. Joseph's. Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with the spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa, feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. Our Lions, our pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Fun Blaster Gun, Plus Plus Kerala. Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month. Activate today. The best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network, Dialogue. How many years did you play in this big match, Roscoe? Uh, I was I played first eleven cricket for four years and three big matches. So, what's your lasting memory of the big match? Lasting memory, to be honest, is uh, <laughs> when we lost it in 2010 oh. after 32 years or something like that. So Who was yeah, your captain? Was Who was your captain? It was under the captains of Dinal Dambaragay. But oh, yeah, it was yeah. not a good experience. But <laughs> that is definitely one of the lasting memories. But uh, I was also involved. Uh, my first year was when we won the big match in 2008 as well, so that was a good memory. Okay, who was then the captain? Ruanta Fernando Pulu. Oh, yes. Ruanta Fernando Pulu. Didn't uh, Dinut Ka Karnaratan also play in that match? He played, yeah. I mean, he played for such a long time. How many years did he play for first round cricket? Six years and. Six years? Never captain. Well, we're talking about the test captain of Sri Lanka, current. The rate of scoring dropped a little bit. Credit to the spinners. Fonseca at first slip is doing a reasonably good job containing. That's him. Five years. These days, five years is a lot. Once again, impact outside the off stump. So now they're trying to um, play on to the onside. Mm. The key so will be the two whole wickets uh, in hand for those last 10 overs for St. Joseph. That's a better option, certainly. So 46 overs uh, completed. And Joseph's uh, put it about 187 for four. May Utsava Samay Gidra Hamotama Sam Alu Dialogue Television Pasagum Samantavak Samaga Suishi Dimanava. Alu Dialogue Television Pasagum Samantavak at a CLO channel Dinahatak Pura. Kissing the Amatragas to Kintorava.
ඩයලොග් ටෙලිවිෂන් පස ගෙවුම් සම්බන්ධතාවයට රිවයින්ඩ් සහ කැච් අප් ටීවී පහසුකම තියෙන නිසා කිසිම දෙයක් මිස් වෙන්නෙත් නැහැ ඔබේ සම්බන්ධතාවයේ ඩයලොග් අලවිසල් වලින් හෝ ඔන්ලයින් ඕඩර් කරලා බා ගන්න ඩයලොග් ටෙලිවිෂන් ශ්‍රී ලංකාවේ අංක 1 ටෙලිවිෂන් රසස්වාදය So as we come back after 46 overs Sid Joseph 187 for 4 to be nice to bet joining me the comment box Brigesh Jagannathan from a P trade opening bet good afternoon Brigesh good afternoon Michael thank you Sid Joseph is uh, in a good position after a good uh, start from the opening batsman uh, now at 187 for 4 as you see and beaters are trying to get oh, get through the first 60 over so they they'll be worried about containing the batsman so we could say that uh, coming into the business end of it brigesh yeah in the first innings uh, coming to the business end uh, st joseph will be looking to at least get another 100 on the board that's trying to get about 280 290 would be uh, a good score with six wickets in hand. Well definitely looking at getting something over 250 for sure. But like you said if they can manage to wait to 290 that would be a great score. Especially after being asked to take first lease of this wicket. The spinners have come on and uh, put the brakes on the scoring uh, Michael so I think uh, you know 250 is a good score uh, anything above 250 as i mentioned about 280 would keep them safe from uh, you know losing the game noting the fact that they are missing three of their top uh, players due to national duties peters i've also lost one one of their main spinners I think the Josephian camp will be pretty happy with this score at the moment. Nice to cut away in the gap. That should race to the boundary. So that's a boundary coming after some time. Hilandra is under moving on to 35 after 47 it's 191 for 4. Silimata ganna seat ekak mokadda basu. I know Silima Rhino Silima Vairam Radhav Devani Rhino Kemati paata kemata haki plain silima Rhino Wahalata Rhino Silima tat Rhino Sabhi shaktiyen wedi I know Mal pravatma ihalai I know Yedama adui I know Hema atin ihalai I know Adu seva sakata wedi janata vishwase nava sanyoge kin Rhino roofing sa ceiling shade Rhino Rhino Alliance our pride connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan Lanka Premier League 2021 Fun blaster gun na plus plus karala Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook WhatsApp YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month Activate today the best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network Dialog Sanimon will continue I think the Josephians have the right attitude just pushing it getting the singles wait for the loose ball there's so on the run 35 should be taking most of the strike For a moment I thought it was a, a caught in ball chance but obviously it was hit into the ground as you see once again drives it into the ground the ball gets a hand to it well stopped pushed nicely there is a chance of a run out but uh, the batsman safely in St Joseph's just pushing along the singles trying to take whatever is available not trying to risk it too much I would thought uh, just give it another four to five overs see where they're at and then uh, start pushing for more runs and taking the odd risk yeah exactly uh, brigesh i think uh, and the field is wide spread so you have your singles you know as long as you just place it into the gap 
and trust your partner. I'm sure those singles keep rolling. Get your four or five runs per over. Keep your wickets in hand and like you said, the last seven, eight overs, they can have a dash. That's an inside edge onto the pads. And St. Peter's have got another wicket. Iman bowling the ball outside the off stump. As you see there, sweeps it into his pads. Wicket keeper aware of it, takes it comfortably. So that's another a wicket loss as a crucial time for St. Joseph's. And these two guys are just managing to push the ball around. So Hiran out for four. And St. Joseph's 193 for five. Fun Blaster Gun Plus Plus Kerala. Enjoy truly unlimited Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube with additional data for only 347 rupees a month. Activate today. The best unlimited plans only from Sri Lanka's number one network, Dialogue. So the new best one coming in, Shenoka de Silva. Playing his last year. Can score runs pretty fast. You see Shenoka's uh, stats, just three matches, three innings. He's got oh, just 51 runs. Good strike rate of 78, average of 25, it's the best score being 24. Unfortunately, Brigesh, uh, they have not played a lot of cricket this year. Exactly what I was also thinking when the stats come up on the screen. Uh, you know, you play three matches for the whole year, it looks like. But, you know, to get three games in this year because of COVID is also a great achievement. And uh, the boys have done really well to keep themselves, uh, you know, fit and on the game doing their personal training on their own and doing their thing to be ready for if the season could start with these uh, restrictions. These are how the figures fell. The first one to fall was an LBW. Second one, unnecessary shot, a reverse sweep also given out. I thought that was a fair division. And the other one, the ball straight going through with the arm and tried to make some room to cut. So St. Line. Joseph's uh, have done well, though they have lost five wickets. That was where we left off. The next one stumped way down the track. That's the last one to fall. Inside edge onto the pads. We could take uh, we could keep it taking the catch. St. Joseph's uh, have to now just push it around, reassess and see how best they can make use of the remaining 12 overs. So St. Joseph's 196 for 5 in 48. Silim itu kan nasi tegam kat dalam basuh. Rino silim, Rino silim. Wai Ram Radhav, Devan ni mana? Rino, kemat ni pat, kemat teh ki plain silim. Rino, wahal itu Rino. Silim itu Rino. Sabi syakti yang ready. Rino, wal pevet ma ihalai. Rino, ye demar adui. Rino, hema atin ma ihalai. Rino, adu serva sekutu beri jangan tahu bishwa se, nawa sang yoga kin. Rino, roofing sa siling shi. Rino, Rino. So interestingly, after the 60 overs, T will be taken according to the rules of the big match. And then start the second innings of the day. And foolish driven down the ground by Shinook. I think that's what he should do, just get uh, Hiran on strike. Keep rotating it and let it undo the scoring. You were saying Michael Seneca can hit the ball around, so I don't think uh, 
He should take any risks now. Get uh, Hiran to take the odd risk. There's 11.4 to go. If they were to get five runs in over Michael, they can get to 260. That would be a good score on this uh, wicket. Yeah. The ball getting also taking some turn. Getting five runs uh, in this ground, it's not a big ask because this ground, remember, is it's a round ground. It's not like an over-shaped ground. When you hit it into the outfield, there's so much space Gaps. that a fielder has to cover. So you if you get it in the gap and you push the runs, the first run hard, you can obviously look for the second which will be comfortable saying that the outfield is also not bad it's got faster in the last two hours so it's not an impossible uh, uh, amount of runs to get in and over just that you need to place the ball into the gaps and you have your runs With the ball spinning, Michael, it's, it'll be very difficult for them to, you know, go for the big shots. Because that'll be a bit risky. The best thing is to push it into the gaps, run the twos, and get that five runs and over. Put some pressure on the fielders. There we yeah. go. Into the gap. An easy couple of runs. So after 49, it, the 200 is up and it's 200 for five. लाभ So 200 for 5. He ran on strike on 37. Done a great job coming in at number 3. Not easy to sit with your pads on for some time while the opponents put on a 100 partnership. He's taken his time. 65 balls for his 37. But I think that's what was needed. He's done the hardest bit now. He has to go on to try and capitalize on the start that he's got. He's got his eye in. Interestingly, the ball, when it's pitched outside the line of off, even for the left-hander, you see a lot of turn. So it's not that dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's just the footholds, probably from the the wicket being used for another game before have no grass on it and the area where the strip that you call straight has a little bit of grass dead grass on it and it doesn't turn as much as the ones which are pitched outside it's mostly driven another easy two like I said uh, Michael you hit it into the outfield push the runs First run fast and quick, you 90% of the time you'll get in home very easily on the second. St. Joseph's have got the, the thoughts right, obviously they, they're executing it well, not trying to hit big fours and sixes, trying to push it into the gaps, take what is available. St. Peter's sitting back, trying to see if there is a possibility of a wicket without trying to enforce a plan and trying to execute it. Good shot into the deep, but straight to the man. As you see, you wouldn't have seen on screen, but uh, anyway, that's the 50th over completed. St. Joseph's 203 for 5. 
Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with the spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa. Feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. Nice shot of that, and you can see the best all round performances. Most recent being Tisara Perra in 2006, 92 and 5 for 47. Which would you pick as the best if you were to have a guy to play in your team? Well, those earlier, so Fred Pereira with 114 not out and 6 for 11 seems a good uh, option, uh, Brigesh. Not seen him, but I'm pretty sure not would have seen been him, a yeah. Uh, Just uh, going by the stats. Yes, going by the stats, that looks the best. He could have gone on to make some more runs. He was not out <laughs> and got 6 for 11. Back Shep. to 2021, here we are. It's been a long time since uh, we've had a good all round performance in the big match. I think it was last Marlin Silva, I think. 2001, no? Yeah, probably. See, the Petrites play it as a team effort <laughs> 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 and not uh, an indi individual sport, so <laughs> everyone chips You won't in. see a lot of names of the Petrites you mean to yeah. say. They don't allow you to take more than two, <laughs> two, three wickets. <laughs> Someone else bowling and get the rest of the wickets. Batting, same. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, we, ha we haven't had any, you know, one player performing in both form of the game and uh, doing well as Marlene Silva who was a genuine all-rounder who can hit the ball really hard he was the last one I think created an impact ah, that's a rank short ball out yes. of the should have been put away I think he runs uh, playing it a bit too uh, laid back he should try and force the issue now there is only one ball left in this over and then nine overs after that. So at the end of the 51st over, St. Joseph's 203 for five. Rhino Silima, Rhino Silima. Why Ram Radhav? Devani Ma. Rhino. Kemati Pata, Kemata Heki. Plain Silima. Rhino. Wahalita Rhino. Silima Tat Rhino. Savi Shakti Ng Vedi. I know. Al Pavetma Ihalai. I know. Yedama Adui. I know. Hema Atin Ihalai. I know. Adu Seva Sakatavani Janata Vishwasi. Nava Sang Yogekin. Rhino. Roofing Sa Sealing Shape. Rhino. Rhino. Our Alliance. Our Pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. Then Dialogue Television Perekeum Pari Bogika Semata. Ika reload the king Masiat Purama Hite Heti at a TV Palana. Dialogue Television Masika Perekeum Super Plans. Pahasu Vasia Saha Venetatavada Vedipura Channel Samaka. Tora Genimata Masika Plan Dressa. Activate Kirimata Rupial Tunsi Anunavayako. Adala Super Plan Watinakama Eka Vara Reload Karana. Dialogue Television Sri Lankawe Anka K Television Rasa Swatia. Introducing the all new Dialogue Television View Hub. Rewind and Catch Up TV. Over 5,000 apps on Google Play. Thousands of movies and TV series. Play games. Chromecast built in. Stunning 4K clarity. Dialogue Television View Hub. The ultimate TV experience. Well, this uh, on screen, you see the record partnerships for St. Joseph's College. And uh, on top, there is a uh, 197 from uh, Maurice Vanigaratna and uh, Wilson Vimaratna. I'm just searching for one. Uh, well, I don't think it's in a big match, no. Santosh? Oh, right. 
I beg your pardon, that was St. Joseph's College, isn't it? I was just finding for your name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I played for St. Peter's. <laughs> Well, uh, 203 for 5 is the story. 51 overs gone so far. So, 9 overs left in this St. Joseph's innings. And uh, as per the rule, the 60 over limit for the first innings. So, Nipunaka should be happy just to go through the motion. After that uh, opening partnership, uh, St. Peter's uh, bowlers, they did well to... Uh, bring themselves back into the game. Uh, they picked uh, five wickets in no time and uh, put the pressure on the batting batting team. But nevertheless, Hiran has batted really well. He's held up one end, and uh, they will definitely want to look to put on a big total here, especially having Shenuka De Silva hard hit at the crease. Well, having looked uh, how Shenuka De Silva bats and his intent, you know, it makes me wonder why didn't he come up? <laughs> A couple of positions up higher because he's got his good technique and uh, he's shot great uh, intent and he's looking to score always positive batting and I like his bat flow it's free flowing like fluid yes he's a really good batsman he loves to attack the ball he, he loves to attack the bowlers as well uh, and uh, it's very strange that he came number seven I also would have wanted to uh, see him batting up the order, maybe number five or maybe number six. But uh, they've gone with this strategy, and uh, he's in a good position uh, to you know go and play his uh, free shot. Well, live by the sweep. Iran Jayasundara 40. He moves on to 41 now. How good a hand that youngster has played today. 41 of 71, 78 deliveries. He's held things uh, at one end when wickets were falling in uh, quick succession. Uh, he's kept things uh, tight and he's uh, batted really sensibly. Very well controlled. He'll have to settle for just a single. That's the end of the over. 52 going on 208 for 5. Silimer gun seat take him for the bus. I know Silimer, Rhino Silimer. Why Ram Ratav? They were near Rhino. Kamati part, the Kamat, the Hecky, play Silimer. Rhino. Wahalita Rhino. Silimer, not Rhino. Savishakti, ready. I know. Malpevet, I know. 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 I Shannon Rodrigo will continue. He's been good today. He's been struggling with the length a little bit. Tend to straight shorter. But that doesn't matter. Shenuka De Silva. You beauty. Out of the park. Out of the park there from Shenuka De Silva. Yes, that was bound to happen. That shot was coming. Shenuka De Silva frees his arms. Inside out over the short extra cover feelers head for a magnificent six. Oh, look at that. Made it look so easy over extra cover. Tremendous hit. The first six of the innings too that is from uh, Senuka Di Silva's bat. Not an easy shot to play. A wonderful shot from Senuka Di Silva. Now he's not going to get any length forward. That's for sure. And you see a batsman who's got... Well, for his size, he, he, it is actually incredible that he was able to clear that long boundaries deep into the pocket of uh, extra covers. Yes. Yes, absolutely. He's, it, it's, uh, boundaries are also not uh, small boundaries. They are relatively big boundaries and he cleared them with ease. Sensible batting from these two batsmen. Already eight runs uh, in this over in just three balls. 
Senuka De Silva on 17 of just 9 deliveries. He's in for a mission for sure. Just wondering what, what must uh, Nipunaka Fonseca's thinking be right now. Just yeah. let them score at their will. Protect whatever we can get through to 60 overs. Well, my ego does not allow me to do so. Nipunaka Fonseca has gone with a packed offside field. Uh, mainly because there's just 8 overs remaining. And uh, he's probably asked his bowl to keep it on uh, off stump or maybe outside off. Uh, to reduce the run flow. But there is the old up. Cramp. Probably cramp. Yes, it looks like a cramp there. Well, it was humid right from the morning. There was a bit of moisture around the ground. That always gets steamy and humid at the centre. Lopi is alright to continue. He uh, has played a long knock. Goes to 80 deliveries. Seven overs remaining and the Josephians would definitely want him to bat the seven overs. The set batsman. Big Shenuka also going uh, really well here. Well, Hiran, Hiran being a one, one and uh, it will be the license for uh, Shenuka de Silva. Halfway through his shot, he cramped up probably. It's very important to hydrate yourself in these kind of conditions. That is the point. That is exactly the point. Uh, Santosh hydrating. Five or more victims in the match. Uh, 1956, Daryl De Silva, seven victims. He tops the list. And uh, that's this is uh, these are the Saint, uh, Saint Peter's College cricketers that we are talking of. Indunil Anthony, a famous character from uh, Saint Tom Saint Peter's College, and Andrew Berenger represented Sri Lanka in 19 and uh, played for UAE, played ODIs for UAE. Some interesting names there. Yes, absolutely, legends of the game. Uh, I can say it's not easy getting seven uh, victims or five or more victims in this uh, in a single game, and uh, it's it's really nice to see uh, a few of the uh, players to have to do this. Well, none had come after 2010. Berenger is the last, is he? <laughs> For now. <laughs> He was uh, indeed. Uh, he had a good pair of hands, for sure. Represented Sri Lanka in 19, went on to play World Cups for UAE. And he is uh, oh, this game has spanned so far. 52 and 57 from the openers. That set a road, uh, which should have gone past 300 for sure. But uh, well, they should be happy with whatever they are right now. Uh, Wickets fell in clusters in the middle, and uh, right now Hiran Chaisundra and Shenuka De Silva are doing a repair work. Yes, the top three batsmen uh, being amongst the runs, that's what uh, any team would ask for, any coach and captain would ask for. The top three batsmen to go out there and score runs, and uh, the Josephians would, would have definitely wanted one of the opening batsmen to bat through and get a big score, but nevertheless. Uh, they have got to 117 already. One batsman is already set, uh, but he's having a bit of a problem. But Shenuka De Silva has come and scored 18 runs of just 10 balls, and uh, with seven overs to go, they might even get up to 260, 270 maybe. Yeah, and um, another 56 runs in the last eight uh, seven overs uh, should be easily gettable. And these are the bowling has spanned Danal Hemananda. For me, that has been the biggest, biggest uh, disappointment of the game. 42 runs, 5.25 economy, and uh, not being able to pick up a wicket, single wicket. Nimanu Mesh among the wickets, uh, the major wicket taker, 3 for 55, and uh, Shannon Rodrigo and Chamalka picked up a wicket apiece. Full of wickets, 120, 124, 157, 183, and 93. 
well look at that 12 extra santosh yes seven no balls uh, a bit too much in uh, in the context of the game only 52 overs into the game uh, i wonder how many were bowled by uh, dana lemanand quite a few i mean Well, these are the back of wickets. Uh, the first one to go, Sharan Fonseca, the Josephian skipper. And then uh, Jesse Teddy Silva. Well, we back in with the action here. Was it Nipponaka Fonseca at uh, long leg? Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with the spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all-new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa, feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. Sealy mutta ganna seed tegum kadda basu. I know sealy ma, I know sealy ma. Why ram ra thav? Never ni ma. I know. Kamati paata, kamata hagi. Plain sealy ma. I know. Wahalita I know. Sealy mutta I know. Sabi shakti ing ready. I know. Hal pavet ma ihalai. I know. Yedama adui. I know. Hem atin ma ihalai. I know. Adu seva sakatu vedi janata vishwasi navasang yogi kin. I know. Roofing sa sealing shi. I know. I know. Here comes uh, Danal Hemanand. Will he be able to do wonders? Will he be able to do produce what they are searching for right now? Wickets. Yes, a very experienced player and lots of expectations on him, uh, but he failed to uh, get the breakthrough with the new ball. But uh, the captain would definitely want him to break this partnership and uh, cut down on the run flow. We're not meaning to be harsh on the youngster. Everyone has an off day, and this certainly is a Way off day for him. Uh, I think uh, he's way, way off his mark today. Yes, absolutely. He's not only league trans, but he was not able to uh, uh, pick up any wickets as well. He's bowled five no balls. He started off with a no ball, so that is not an ideal start for any uh, fast bowler in a in a big game like this. And one thing is that you know he has set his bar very high. Danal Hemanand uh, throughout the season, even last season. He has set his bar very high, so we everyone come in with expectations, and I think that might that might also weigh him down. He himself must have had uh, so much of expectations of him, but nevertheless, this is not the end. He's got more cricket to come, and uh, we only wish him luck and uh, all success. Sam, very well done. The right thing to do. So keep rotating the board. Yes, if Shenuka De Silva manages to bat these seven overs, the Josephians are more likely to get 260 plus. I can tell you, he's a re really destructive batsman. He loves pace on ball, and he can uh, hit the big shots with ease. He can clear the boundary lines effortlessly. It's quite, uh, quite surprising, isn't it? There we go. 8.1 overs, no maidens, 43, no wickets, 5.27 economy for Danal Emanant. Well, confusion, confusion at the centre and uh, a major mix-up from both ends, isn't it? Yes, if the field had uh, caught that ball on the first first time, he would have been able to get a run out, but. Uh, unfortunately, he missed it, and the batsman was able to scramble for a single. Is it Nima Numesh? Nima Numesh, the culprit there. He's been quite a culprit, isn't he today? <laughs> He's bowled well. That's something for him to get away with. He's picked up three wickets today. He's picked up the bowlers. Uh, might get excused. <laughs> yes, he'll get an opportunity to bat as well. He definitely show his batting skills.
putting pressure putting pressure Manil Silva on his heels right away put pressure on him Shenuka De Silva this is brilliant batting from Shenuka De Silva yes this is really good batting identifying uh, the fielders are a bit deep and uh, you know just tapping and running so this is uh, good batting from both batsmen very sensible rotating the strike and uh, ticking the scoreboard Slow ball carved away, beautifully carved away from uh, Hiran Chasindra. Well, but one thing, they have to play their shots, they have to go for a piggy. Because uh, you know, they'll end up way short of whatever they would want to. And, uh, always extra runs on board is a, is a very, very luxurious cushion to have uh, in, a, in a long format game. Yes, like I said, if these two can uh, bat the remaining seven overs, uh, I mean, St. Joseph's will be on top. They will get a commandable a total and uh, it will definitely put pressure on the Pete threats when they come out to bat. Well, short one there. Well, was it a no ball? He was just checking his, uh, checking with the umpire to confirm how many deliveries have been bowled so far in the over. Sam well done, good comeback. He's bowled a good over here. Then I'll aim another. Well, it seems like it was a no-ball. That's the sixth no-ball he has bowled for today. Only into his ninth over. Disappointing stuff from Danal Hemanand especially. Well, it was so disappointing that he didn't even re react to it. That's, that's how much disappointed he is. This time, full toss. Nothing going his way. I think Nipunaka just should let him go. Let him have his time. At least be fit and ready and fresh for the second innings. 54 was done, 2 to 5 for 5. Staying safe at home is what's truly important. That's why we're delivering all dialogue connections right to your doorstep. To purchase Dialogue TV, home broadband, mobile connections, smartphones, and devices, visit www.dialogue.lk to order online. No delivery charges. Conveniently and safely delivered island-wide within 48 hours. Dialogue. The future today. Clouds have uh, come on top. The, the SSC pitch at the moment. Uh, it's looking very gloomy as uh, we enter the last six overs uh, of the St. Joseph's innings. Uh, and joining me at the comm box is uh, Polly. Good uh, afternoon to you, Polly. Good afternoon, Ranjika. There was an appeal there for an LPWO. Board, but, uh, Josephians uh, 225 for 5 after being put into bat by the beat rides in this 87th Battle of the Saints encounter. Josephians playing uh, minus their players who are with the under-19 squad and the Peter Rice too badly missing Vinijah uh, Sahan and that's lofted high in the air and taken well deep down at the middle of boundary that's a very good catch so that's the end of Shenuka De Silva got 21 of 15 deliveries and that's a sixth wicket to fall there you see the replay of that Shenuka De Silva coming down the wicket Hitting it high over mid off. Well taken at the long off boundary. Shinal Boteju, the fielder in that occasion. Wonderful uh, bit of fielding to send back uh, Shanuka. Very quick innings from him. 21 off just 16. It's 225 for 6. 
Introducing Munchy Savory Salsa with the spicy flavor of real jalapenos in an all-new resealable pack. Munchy Salsa. Feel the heat. Available at all leading supermarkets. Our Lions, our pride. Connecting the wishes of every Sri Lankan. Lanka Premier League 2021. So it's uh, 2.25-6. St. Joseph's got off to a very good start. 120 run partnership between the two openers, Sharan Fonseca and Yesa Trupasinga. Both completing their half centuries. Iran Jaisundra coming in at number three is 46 not out. Top three Josephine Batsman getting into runs. You see the replay again of that last wicket. Shenika De Silva hitting it right out of the top of the ball. The mid off fielder brilliantly taken at long mid off. It's again nicely played. Gone into the boundary. That's a four more. So that's uh, Sahan Dabre getting on, getting the start with the boundary. Short is he on the back foot? He cut it nicely between cover and extra. Ball travelled all along the ground to the boundary for four. Taking the Josephine total on to 230. Immediately corrects to, to end the over well. 55 ball was gone. It's 1 and 30 for 6. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you Rhino Silima Why Ram Ratav? Devani Ma Rhino Kemati Pata Kemata Heki Plain Silima Rhino Wahalata Rhino Silima Tat Rhino Savi Shakti Eng Vedi I know Kalpavetma Ihalai I know Yedama Adui I know Hema Atin Ihalai I know Adu Seva Sakata Vedi Janata Vishwasi Nava Sang Yogi Kin Rhino Roofing Sa Ceiling Shape Rhino Rhino See, 230 for six, five overs remaining, and this Josephine innings. Iran Jasundra definitely must be wanting to complete his 50. Batted very well. One more to him, takes him on to 47. Lehman on the been off color day today with the ball haven't been his best for the Petres and it was costly for the Petres as well. It's nicely pushed towards deep mid off and gets a single. It's a Honda Bray there. Very young Josephian lineup. We've done very well to get to 232 for six up to 55 overs. Here we see a summary of the 50 years. That's in 1971. St. Peter's College getting 121. Sri Santa Tialves 21. Raji Benedict 5 for 48. And St. Joseph's in reply got 223. Gihanda Alpadado 67. That's pulled away towards mid wicket. So that takes uh, Iran Chasundra on to 49. And the covers are coming on. Umpires have decided to uh, stop the play. Unfortunate. Uh, for the Josephians, uh, they were looking well, they were set for a big total after being put to bat first. It's raining very hard here at the SSC. It's in Joseph's College, 233 for 6 after 55.3 overs being put into bat. 
by the Petrides. St. Peter's won the toss this morning, invited the Josephians into bat, and the Josephians were given up a good, very good start, 120 run opening partnership between Sharan Fonseca and uh, Yasit Rupasinga. Fonseca got 52 and Rupasinga got 57. The number three batsman, uh, Iran Jasundra, unfortunately being not out at 49. The rain's coming down. Sahan Dabre is with him on five. Imam Omesh with the most successful Pete Wright bowler. The three for 55. Covers coming on, and now we see some highlights of the day. Shannon taking that wicket uh, after the lunch break. And it was Iran Jaya Sundar who was batting brilliantly for St. Joseph's College, and a good cameo as well from Shenukodi Silva. It's the wicket of uh, Kenneth Lianage. For 12. Hirun uh, Kapuru Bandara didn't last long as well. This is a cameo he's talking about from Chenukoti Silva. And there had to be a good bit of feeling from Boteju to get rid of Chenuka. And this is the last boundary just before. Rain started here at the SSC grounds. See the rain's coming down very hard. I doubt very much, uh, Ranjika, with this kind of rain, whether we could uh, start again this game today. Well, St. Joseph's. There you see the betting card coming up for the Josephians. They see Sharan Fonseca getting 52. It was very well partnered by Yasit Rupasinga who got 57. Hiran Jayasundara unbeaten on 49. Mitra Thin over at 20. Kenneth uh, Kapuru Bandara got 12. Hirun Kenneth Lianage, sorry. Hirun Kapuru Bandara and Shenuka Silva got 21. Sahan Dabre, the batsman not out on 5. So 223 for six with 13 extras after 55.3 overs. 4.3 overs remaining, still remaining in this innings. Bowling card done all expensive. Uh, Shamalka got one wicket to the off spinner. Will the Lian again. Only bowled three overs. But Niman Umesh, uh, the pick of the ball is 3 for 55. And the left arm is Shannon Rodrigo taking the other two wickets. There you see so much of rain falling down here at the SSC as we hand you back to the studio. And we'll get back to you once we commence play if possible today. Official uh, day one of uh, the 87th Battle of the Saints has been called off due to bad weather. 
of course uh, the game so 55.3 overs today and uh, st joseph's college scored 233 runs for the loss of six wickets well uh, the chief scorer of course uh, yes it was singer and uh, this is how things went south he had a uh, singley sports club grounds at around uh, half past two the heavens opened up and uh, it started showering heavier and uh, within uh, a minute of uh, time uh, everything was done and dusted it was flooded almost flooded at SSC and uh, this is how it looked after the rain eased off and there is no signs of cricket returning and uh, for the day so that's uh, that's the story at SSC and uh, the officials have uh, officially called the day off well it has been an eventful day yet uh, in the battle of the blue battle of the saints and uh, st joseph's college being put to bat first and uh, turned tables around and performed more than what was expected from them today and it'll be a disappointing start for st peter's college for sure but uh, nevertheless the game has a lot to offer but uh, might be a little unfortunate that we might lose a big chunk of the play for sure because of this uh, wear out field it does not seem like something it's gonna drain off really soon so this is the highlights coming up for you and uh, the day started uh, beautifully for Shreyan Fonseca and of course his partner is the Trupa Singer the pair put on a hundred run partnership and uh, that set the base that set the base right for St. Joseph's College the Josephians uh, were cruising high at one stage they were looking as if they were gonna go for 300 or more but uh, it was indeed a commendable effort from the uh, Pete Wright bowlers trying to pull it back but the top three the top three top three did uh, exceptionally well and uh, Hiran Jasundara in fact is still on strike and uh, that two on 49 he'll be looking forward for that 50 on debut his big match debut and very young cricketer Hiran Jasundara playing number three this is the openers uh, the skipper Sharan Fonseca and yes it's Rupa Singer they were free flowing and that's how the skipper brought up his 50 and this is how his innings entered it was a good delivery from the right arm off spinner but it was never the end of uh, St. Joseph's College uh, run and yes it's a rope singer he found himself struck in front and uh, as the pair departed there was a sudden collapse in the batting lineup they lost four more wickets in quick succession that's uh the debutant and then they started going on Hiran Chasundra he started his show he knew it's, it's time for him to attack there was a small cameo from uh, Kenneth Lienegay for his 12 runs but uh, Jasundra kept going he swept he swept very well and uh, Shenuka De Silva he came into the party and he came into the party in style until this happens it was a brilliant take from Shanal Boteju uh, to depart the dangerous Shenuka De Silva but right about that time heavens opened up and uh, within the matter of a uh, couple of minutes it became heavier and heavier heavy enough to ruin a test venue in this fashion 
Well, this is a batting card, as I mentioned, 52-57 from the openers, 100 runs stand at the uh, top of the order. And followed by Hiran Jasundar at number 3, a 49, not out on strike when uh, the game was stopped. Uh, the four wickets below fell in quick succession. Mithira Tenura uh, making a useful 20. And uh, Shenuka De Silva, 16 ball 21 to put them uh, well on course. So, 55.3 uh, overs, 233 for 6. That is the story for St. Joseph's College. Looking at the beat rights, well, was not what they would have expected when they inserted St. Joseph's to bat first. But Danal Heyman on the, you know, tough day for him. He didn't have the best of his outings. But uh, we'll hope the young lad will come, uh, come back strong uh, tomorrow. But uh, Niman Umesh, the off spinner, he picked up three wickets. He was the pick of the bowlers, uh, three for 55. And Shannon Rodrigo, playing his first game, first big match, picked up a couple of wickets uh, for 48 runs. 13 extras in that innings. Well, eight no balls. That's going to be a troublesome uh, part, you know. And uh, I believe five of them or six of them came from uh, uh, Dana Lehman on those overs. And so. Uh, 120, 124, 157, 183, 193, and 225, the fall of wickets. Well, they'll be looking out uh, to come back stronger tomorrow and uh, give out a better performance with the ball and uh, pull something off this game. Sure, it could be tough uh, to conclude, but uh, nevertheless, good cricket shall be played. Well, so uh, that's about it from all of us here at uh, Singley Sports Club for today. And uh, don't forget to tune in at the same time, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, as we bring you live updates, live action from the 87th Battle of the Blues. Until then, stay safe. Catch me howling at the moon